Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Going Racing Podcast here on the channel episode number 7 coming at you guys today. You are joined by the usual myself, Gary Owen, then we got Jay. Hello. As well as Matt. Yo. Eddie. Hello. And we also got one of our Nitro Racing League uh, drivers to come on the show with us today as a special guest, and that is Connor. Hello. Connor just won the most recent uh, Nitro race, by the way, at Martin's. Oh. Never, no way, hold up. Sure he up. choked. Uh, he had the he had the yeah. biggest choke of wow. yeah. Well, he had the biggest choke of Nitro wait. history. Well, well, that's wow. That, way to rub man. that one in, Gary. I actually I didn't mean to that do that. You won two wins and still yeah. couldn't get it done. I I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Um, I was just like, oh yeah, he won, but no, no, Eddie won. Uh, yeah. So, congratulations, oh, Eddie. That was hilarious. It, it was. We're going to talk about that later in the show, um, and we'll dive into that race a little bit. But uh, over the past week, we had the Atlanta, not the Atlanta race, that's the one that's coming up. We had the Phoenix race in the Cup Series, in Xfinity Series and whatnot. And um, we got a lot of stuff coming up to talk about with next-gen testing today that happened at Richmond with, I believe it was Bubba Wallace behind the wheel. Uh, we got a little bit of NASCAR 21 news to talk about. We're going to dive in a little bit about that uh, and then maybe mention some F1 testing stuff. But... We're going to dive in to the first part of the podcast here. So NASCAR 21 News, we had that on the last episode. I'll tell you what, the last episode of the podcast on YouTube with the NASCAR 21 stuff, that was the best one we've had in a while. Uh, so that was nice to see again. But uh, so something interesting came out today. Two screenshots, Motorsport Games had two notable NASCAR people uh, at their wherever their headquarters are, and they were doing face scans. Uh, I saw Matt Tift, and I saw Hannah Newhouse. Matt Tift used to be a, a driver. Now he's a team owner. Hannah Newhouse, uh, a media member, uh, as well as she does some commentating stuff for the Pro League with NASCAR Heat as well. Um, but like I mentioned, they were doing face scans of those two at least. So in my opinion, I'm sure you guys agree, that obviously means they're going to plan to have like physical characters of them in the game right i mean yeah and te technically they do right now but let uh i'm not gonna beat around the try to be around, around the bush uh they're pretty bad <laughs> yeah yeah we're gonna have legitimate ones <laughs> that, yeah, that look uh, like them yeah probably more like you know actual realistic looking characters kind of like we have in 2k and stuff when when players get scanned into that and actors and stuff so and I don't I, know if it'll be exactly that realistic, but it'll look. It'll, I assume it'll look a lot better. Yeah. I'll say something after everyone else talks. Um, I posted a tweet actually, saying uh, uh, it's a stretch, but I think that they could be having like Hannah Newhouse as remember remember Claire in the F one games as the, yeah. she does the interviews, the player and whatnot. I think that she could yeah. play a role like that, and she liked that tweet by the way. Uh, so well, I got I all I'm saying. It's like it's like oh so so you're the person we get the shit to talk our team about. Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean it's it's just positive that they're actually going through like the kind of steps they need to like personally do face scanning and yes. like, possibly like driver information and stuff. It's just nice to see that they're trying to make those small steps like other other than other companies because like like Jay said, it's comparable with two K. I mean they do the face scans with every NBA player and some major league baseball teams do it too. I mean not all of them, so it's like Madden also does the same thing, but. I mean, it's nice to see that they're trying to follow along the same steps. Uh, Connor, did you see that stuff, by the way? Uh, I don't have Twitter. You don't have uh, Twitter? Me? No, <laughs> sorry. Wow. Um, well, you don't see much anyways. Yeah, basically, yeah, <laughs> basically, uh, Motorsport Games uh, was face scanning a few people that actually put it out to public TIFF and uh, Newhouse. I think it's mostly you're going to see it incorporated with the career mode. Yeah. Um, but I mean, we don't really have a lot to go off of that, but I think that indicates to me that they're going to be diving deeper into the career mode and how it works. You know, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of like role Matt Tift would play, but, 
Um, maybe there was like some type of storyline they want to bring in. I don't got a clue. It's too early to tell. Uh, I, I think it's just uh, just getting the drivers in. And if I assume if they're face scanning, they're pretty much done. I, fa- I from what I understand with game development stuff like face scans and stuff like that, they're pretty much done. But you like Matt Tiff though? He's a team owner, not even a driver. So like, they yeah. face scanned the owner. He's supposed to race the shit. So though. Matt Matt Tiff in his tweet about it, he um he tagged the the people that were doing it, and. I, I go in and I look at their work, and it looks like they're they do like the same stuff that they do for like 2K. So I don't know, maybe maybe they will like have the you know the the full face scan and everything in and have it actually looking pretty darn realistic. It's gonna be interesting. I mean, I, I mean, who knows what the graphics are gonna be like and whatnot. We still don't know what the game will look like or be like fully. Uh, we have an idea of what it's gonna be like after the news came out with them acquiring Studio three ninety seven with the R Factor physics type deal and whatnot. Um, but I'm sure more stuff's gonna come out over the next few months. I'm actually getting a phone call right now. So I'm gonna let Jay take over for a minute. I want I wanna hear your thoughts, Jay, on what you think we could be seeing in this next game in terms of just diving in deeper. I don't know. Like I, I'm I'm kinda I'm kind of wondering, kind of like Gary is, what reason Matt Tiff will be getting scanned for? Because, I mean, obviously he's a team owner now and he's no longer a driver. Uh, so don't I don't drive know. This year, I mean, though. do what? He's still going to drive this year. Is he? Yes. Yeah, it's pretty, probably. Yeah, yeah, supposedly he's going to do a few of them. But, uh, okay, well. you remember how, like, they went around with, like, 704 now, like, where they have, like, those certain people talk to you in the My Career? Uh, yeah, that's, about, that's, like... yeah that, that's, that was my next thing. Yeah. I was yeah. Up, maybe they'll be doing something like that, just with, like, a 3D model instead of, you know, them just recording a video. Yeah, but it's, like, I don't, I don't know if, like, they're going for that. I really hope they don't, because then it's just basically be a copy and paste, but, I mean, I'd rather see them just do the face scan to where... I mean, see if, they're, if they're... If they're doing it for that reason, maybe it'll be more something like uh, when you advance a series, like they walk you through a garage or something like that, and like explain stuff to you or something. I don't, I don't know, but you know, it might be more something, uh, something more in depth than just a, a video, you know, recorded from their phone or something. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I still think, at the very least, seeing them do this, if it's not, even if it's not like put in into a really good way into the next game, they'll probably continue to do it and develop uh, ways to use. The stuff more in the next game, so it, it's a promising step for me, no matter what, no matter if they do, you know, they do really good stuff with it in this game or not. Yeah, I um, do uh, like promising steps. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I I mean, in the right direction. Oh yeah, we're just, gonna, we're just gonna reiterate the same stuff. I feel. Yeah, pretty I much, feel like yeah. this topic's pretty much covered already. Um. So, moving on, I guess. I mean, that's really the NASCAR 21 stuff we got. I'm sure we'll hear some more stuff here in the next few weeks. Well, what is this, March? Okay, yeah. maybe next yeah. month or two. Probably um, get more, like, once we get closer to, like, April or May. Yeah. They usually they announce the game around All-Star Race. They usually come out, like, I, oh, I thought it came out, like, usually, like, September or something like that. Yeah, yeah but they'll, yeah, announce, they'll it. announce it, yeah, but it won't come out till likely mid-September or something, like usual. Um, So... Today at Richmond, next gen testing happened uh, again. I think that's what the fourth time, maybe fourth fifth time they've done it. I don't actually know. Um, it's more than that. I think, I think it's probably almost six ten or seven. Point. Um, they did Charlotte, Dover, uh, Richmond today. They've they, uh, the Roval, the uh, Roval, and then they did Charlotte, Homestead. Uh, Oval. They've done yeah, Homestead. They've done Auto Club. At least like six or seven. They've done, done, they've done a lot of tests. They did a lot of tests. This, this was the first time we actually saw them like put a quote unquote paint scheme on the car, and man, for a Pretty basic hot. paint scheme, it was it was nice. Pretty nice Dodge Charger. There wasn't a number on it. No, no, but the, but no. But quote unquote. That's what I mean by quote unquote un- paint scheme is unacceptable. I mean, yeah, we'll dive into really that. <laughs> Hey man, um, we get to see liveries on the car for once. Let it yeah. happen. And you saw which manufacturer it was too. It was a Chevy Ford Yoda. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no, there's no manufacturer. Cool. All freaking three manufacturers on the side of the car. I am curious to see Yoda. um <laughs> what the next gen car 
how it's going to look different with the manufacturers because we haven't really seen that yet. Um, yeah, they, 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 you know, put it out there pretty pretty heavily. This is just a generic body. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That it'll it'll look nothing like, or it looks nothing like what the manufacturers are coming up with. No, Chevy's still gonna probably be Camaro. Freaking Ford's gonna be Mustang. I would not. I would really like to see Toyota make the move to Supra. I don't know that would. Uh, probably what's gonna happen in the future. I don't know. A Supra car Cup car would be kind of ugly compared to like Xfinity. I mean, like, not an Xfinity yeah, car, but it's like so it's nice. Good. I don't know. We'll see. I, I like how do like a looks. Corolla. I don't know, yeah, man. I, I like, feel like they should finally too. get rid of the I know, Camry. I prefer, I, they've been running the Camry for who knows how long. I mean, but it looks good and it wins. So, I mean, like, a 2019 model in 2018, so. I mean. Wah. Wah. Like the, the, <laughs> biggest thing for me, the biggest thing the, the biggest thing for me that we've seen so far is it, no matter what, every single time I've seen a video of these cars testing, the sound of it just, like, I can't explain how much I enjoy it's how much nice. how that car sounds. It's a turn on. I, the, uh... I mean, like, yeah, essentially, yes. That's that's the best way I would explain it. Like, oh my god, man! The Jeep Wrangler with a Hellcat. It, it's 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 fun. It's funny because like I've been like, it's gonna sound really different just because it, the exhaust goes out both sides of the car. Yeah, yeah. It it, it oh yeah. man, it just it's yeah, got man, such a like deep no. growl to man, it. It's right, so man. loud. Yeah, it sounds so good. So like I've been to Martinsville, it's really weird when you go to Martinsville. On a restart, it's kind of quiet because the exhaust is pointed towards the inside of the track. So you're like, no, oh, it's, it's like that at any track. No, but like it's like super like amplified at Martin. Yeah, but now it's going like, to light up everything. <laughs> so so you're like they go in the turn one, you're like, man, that's not that loud, and then they hit the gas going down the back stretch, and you're like, oh. My I used to I God. used to be able to not wear any ear protection at Daytona or Talladega. I feel like that's gonna have to change now with the with the new cars coming out. Yeah, they will have exhaust on the right side. Up. Let me hear it. No, it, it's not. It's not good for your ears. Man. I'm surprised they actually didn't go in a more quiet, quieter route. Uh, maybe 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 when the new engines and the yeah, that's the thing. Years. We were they were only gonna have it for what one year. Two, probably. Uh, with this regular yeah. engine, two maybe. I don't know if they're coming out yeah. with the new engines in twenty four or if they're in twenty three. But I don't know. We'll see. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, it's possible they go quieter. But at the same time, I mean, the fact that there is double sided exhaust almost means that you know it, it really won't be quiet unless they like really, really, really tone it down, which I don't think they will. Likely not. It'll be um, interesting. Um, I guess Bubba. So Bubba was the one driving today yeah. Yeah. um and i guess right. they did a lot of good year testing eddie you said there were some tweets about that you can read them off yeah bob hocker said that they went through uh mainly a lot of tire testing um one of them with the uh richmond they wanted to see uh, how far off they can go on a whole run basically on a really long run with the tire fall off um and i guess it was pretty okay from what i've read and uh and Bubba even said with the testing, he said that both the runs were kind of a balance adjustment, and they were free and then tight and then a little bit off, but they were mainly just focused on the tires and how they wore out, but the balance really didn't change much over a long run, which is decent to say. So, like, basically, if we go on a long run, the balance is not really going to change. It's basically going to stay the same. So you can have, like, a decent car and still stay, up like, pretty decent for a longer period of time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you so said, the, the balance doesn't really change over a long run, which is interesting. Um, I don't know. Uh, but, like, with, when teams get their hands on the cars, I mean, just the way they set them up, that might change. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm, I'm sure it will. I, I, I wouldn't put anything in the handling right now, really. Yeah, they're going to drive completely different when the teams actually get those cars yeah. and get their hands on it and set them up. And they toy with them, yeah. Yeah. I, I just have a really big feeling that we're going to have a lot of surprises once the new cars are out on track. Like, I feel like there's going to be a lot of surprise winners because, I mean, basically we're just going to a fresh start. So it's like everyone's going to have to relearn basically think, what I, to I do with the car. The I think it's the inverse. What do you think? Of, is it like going to be the same winners and stuff? The first thing to figure it out, they're going to be uh, pretty good for a while, aren't they? <laughs> Probably, I yeah. Say I, I agree with that, going yeah. too, because they were always fast when the new like cars came out. So I'm, I'm saying Toyota was got got them covered for the start of the year, but then Chevy's gonna reel them back in by the end of the season. 
Who yeah, knows? Four, four There's too much, too far away to even worry about that at this point. No. But, um, um, I want to talk about uh that really weird splitter. <laughs> That was yeah. I, don't, I mean, it's I, I don't. Really weird. I don't care what the splitter looks like and stuff, but it was weird. Um, and I mean, obviously, uh, in the chat, and you'll see the one where like you can see the front. Of the, it's really weird. Like there's like little things on the side that stick up. It's really that'll weird. cut a tire down. I think that's for like yeah, the like air. The, the yeah, best way I described it was arrow. we're putting F1 wings on NASCAR. I, there's no way that's you know. going to be the final product, though, because that'll cut a no, tire so No, I don't, so I don't think so. I think NASCAR oh, yeah, is literally... They're just no, throwing anything onto the car to test it. I don't think there's... No, they've been there all every test. Have but, they? Like, I haven't like, noticed that yeah. before. But that's These gonna... are diff they're different from what they were, but there's always been like something on the splitter that's been sticking up. But the, like this is the most pronounced I've ever seen it so far. Okay. Now, the oh. question is, it's hard. is it going out on an angle? It's yeah, hard. It looks like it, it is, never... but I don't, I don't think it's going out at one to where it's going to be able to like cut a tire. Okay. I heard somebody, yeah, I think it was Gary say that. I don't think it's at that much of an angle. Uh, I yeah, because I see it right now. It's it's weird, man. It, it, like it I, weird. I I mean, it's kind of neat that they're trying something like that, and if they went with something like that, it'd be kind of cool. Um, if it works, I like it works. the diffuser, but I also I also think that that looks weird. Like the the way that the right height, the right height is. Yeah, that's gonna be weird. Normally, you don't like notice that. the diffusers, but with how high the rear end of the. I tell you what. At least with the base model, it looks weird. You put the plate track spoiler spoiler on that car for the for the plate tracks. That's gonna look oh, so cool. Oh man! Oh, like oh, it almost looks like it has a wing. Oh man! The 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 plate that spoilers be... they use right now are the coolest spoilers in NASCAR history. Mm -hmm. Um. And that would that I agree. Was so good. Now, it's really interesting how I, short I, the back of the car is. I'm curious if they're going to take that car to do a super speedway test at any point, or if they're just going to completely ignore that until the start of next year. Uh, well, didn't they ignore it for the Gen I think 6? I, didn't they do a test? Like, there's a single car test at Daytona? They did some kind of test with the Gen 6, but then again, we also had preseason testing at that time, too. Yeah, and so we don't have that anymore. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll, we don't we'll have see. that anymore. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens with this. At a plate track. Cause it is we, kind of scary that they're just going to roll into they'll Daytona. I do multiple cars on it testing, but I wanna, I, I'd want to. i be interested to see them do it and like for them to test out the kind of speeds and stuff this car gets. Cause but it's no, like, they, no, they, you know, they, they have to, they have to do, well, they'll have to do like five cars at once. Because what if we roll up into Daytona and the car just is terrible at plate racing? We didn't have any idea, and then the Daytona 500 flops. Do, and, yeah, they're they're, they're going to want to have to, they're going to have to 100% test it. They're going to have to do something. If they it. don't, it could be it could be a whole like 2013 situation over again, where you know the the plate racing is terrible for a year or two until they figure something out. Um, I mean, I think they've got a great idea to go off of now. So, plate racing at this yeah. point is Big insane. Giant spoilers. Yeah, I mean they they work at plate tracks. They work for plate right for plate races. Um, uh, I mean it's interesting to see them experiment with all the different types of spoilers too. I was actually the the Richmond video I was watching because they're they're running. Uh, potentially what six gears in the cars yeah i think i'm pretty sure yeah, i heard him shift six times six. okay six so i was i was immediately curious i was like i wonder if he's going to shift down in the corners here with those many gears at richmond and i didn't hear any yeah, shifting I didn't down happen anytime so uh, it, it looks like they can stay in six gear. Interesting with it. Yeah, yeah at richmond i don't think they will just because richmond you're still carrying a lot of speed in those corners but yeah like martinsville you'll probably shift down a gear or two that's gonna be really interesting. You may not, you may not even hit uh, the sixth gear at uh, in Martinsville, honestly. You can see the video that this guy posted in the chat. You can see the splitter thing. It's fuck. It's so weird. Now, are they still? Oh, that video you sent. That car looks so good. Um, but are they gonna be running like a, a manual, like a stick shift? So I've seen, I've seen it. it it's basically like a pole. Okay. And it's like, you push up for one gear, or you push back for one gear. So you'll go like up, 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 up. Go oh, okay, yeah, that's you know, easy. Yeah, I, yeah, honestly, it could be a stick, but it won't be like an H pattern. It'll just be you. You just push it up or back. Oh, and that's you cool. I just say we should. We're in twenty twenty one. We should be able to get to back paddle shifting if they want by now. But it's a sense. It, it, it's cl pretty close to a paddle shift. Yeah, I, I feel like it should honestly be a choice for a driver if they want to paddle shift or do it that way or whatever. Like they can hook it up, but no, I don't know. Uh, I I always prefer my H patterns. That's I think it should be driver preference. I don't yeah. think it should be driver preference because that That's might true. be like that might go under development issues. Like might be uh, might be higher amount of money to do paddle shifting compared to just a regular uh, 
stick shift or I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know how it works. I know it's just like but... it feels like stuck in the past a bit when they don't go to paddle shifting like every other motorsport. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I don't, yeah. I don't think how they shift is not that big of a deal, so it doesn't matter to me at all. I, I yeah, worry I more about the really on-track racing than how they shift the fucking car. That that car Sorry really does F1. look so good, though. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to see what it looks like with the other manufacturers. Are there any other notable things about that at all? No. Or? I don't think so. Uh, uh, not the, really. The, I mean, the little bit that I saw, and I, and obviously Bubba touched it on a little bit, like the little bit that I saw, I actually saw him getting loose in the corner and crap when he's getting back on the gas, which was which is fun to see, even even in a, for a testing car. But that also happens with current so, like, Ford track stuff. No, but I'm just like saying, I'm. It's fun to see that for a testing car, oh. you know. Like, you know, it's fun to see that already that they're they're gonna have some kind of handling issue still. Um, because obviously you don't want the cars to be easy to drive and just. You know, go in circles without mm-hmm. having any kind of issues. I mean, obviously, oh, the, the biggest thing they need to focus on is the mile and a half stuff. Yeah. So that's really what it comes down to. If that's the to. direction NASCAR is going to keep I don't, going. That's not. So. Say what? That's not going to be the... Why should they focus on something they're weeding out slowly? I, I feel like we're still going to keep a lot of them, though. How many, how many do we got this year? We'll probably keep a lot of mile and a half. So I don't think we're going to keep a lot of the cookie cutter mile and a half. So like I think Texas will probably be gone. Atlanta's probably going to get a reconfiguration. Well, no, Texas isn't going to be gone because of the market. Uh, How many mile and a half? That good of a market out? anymore though. I I, I I think that market is slowly. We'll find out. We'll find out at Coda. Right now. Yeah, we'll that's true. Coda. Oh. Coda, that's going to be a great race. I remember mentioning last time when we talked about this. I was interested to see. Uh, what the future of road course racing will be like with this car now that it's more suitable for road racing, but yeah, who knows? It's only but nine mile and a half. Nine? I mean, it, it, that's still the most, though, isn't it, on the schedule, like, of types of tracks? Um, uh, yeah. Short tracks is probably pretty close, and obviously road courses is close. But in, in my opinion, you need to focus your racing to be the best at the track you visit the most, the type of track. Um, mm. And that's still a mile and a half, so we need to be focusing on that. Yeah, uh, well, I, I don't think, honestly, I, I don't think the NASCAR is going to keep going to a mile and a half a whole lot uh, within the next couple of years. But I do agree that with with whatever NASCAR, whatever direction NASCAR decides to choose, they need to fit the cars to race that type of track. I, I think it'll be... Similar to what we have now, I think we're going to see at least seven, eight, nine. I mean, in my nine, opinion, the schedule that they have now is is really good. We got a lot of road course races. You know, we got four. We still got four super speedway races, a decent amount of short tracks, and then you know, still like the the main mile and a half. So I I think it's a pretty diverse schedule, and in my opinion, one of the best schedules we've had in a long time. It's just uh, there's a few select tracks we got to get rid of still. Yeah, like Texas, Texas Pocono, um, Michigan, debatably. It's no, got, I Michigan, think only, Michigan, Michigan only has one race now, so it's yeah, that is better. Pocono should only have one. I can't believe they're still going with the back-to-back thing. Like, like uh, you're not going to get through right. those in one weekend. Yeah, you're not going to get rid of Michigan because of Detroit. There's no way. And and at least we get through the Pocono races in one weekend. We don't have to. <laughs> we don't have to deal with two weekends. And, and um, we mentioned the market in Texas. As a Canadian, I sincerely ask, what is relevant in Texas? There's just so many people in Texas. Okay. It's the second, it's the second most populated state. Good to know. Because um, I legitimately, like, I think of Texas, I, I don't think of anything. <laughs> Dallas uh, Stars, we yeah, beat no, them Texas, for the Stanley Texas Cup. That's is, the first thing that comes to my mind. Texas population wise, Gary, is massive. Yeah, I mean, like, it's massive in every way. It's a huge state and it's also got a huge population. Yeah. So the market's there. It's just got the worst track in nascar so uh, yeah. i mean market's there but no one was showing up to the races even with crowds the thing that we're gonna have to think about too is obviously not really this year because i don't i don't know how much of a crowd they're gonna have at coda but next year if they go back to coda and we're allowed crowds again we're gonna have to like sparingly look at that crowd if the grandstands aren't filled because it's an f1 track it's designed to have grandstands full of 300,000 people and when f1 shows up there they are filled right up yeah. yeah, so we're gonna have to like play it lightly with NASCAR going there if they're um, if we don't see the grandstands filled, because I mean the grandstands are designed for three hundred thousand people. They're gonna look empty for a NASCAR race. 
Yeah, yeah. F one goes uh, to America once just, a year. Just like so. Indy, just like just like the Brickyard, that place is designed for two hundred k or whatever it is that they usually have for the five hundred. Well, but even even though I will agree, the Brickyard still probably has like fifteen k at the most. It's like uh, NASCAR fans I, I now. Like, yeah, it's usually like thirty to thirty five, which is pathetic. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean that's just a entirely different attendance. Is, can't take much into attendance this year, anyway. So I wonder yeah, no, this year, no. How many would show up to the Brickyard Road Course? Probably more than normal. Is that still going to be considered a crown just jewel? For, like curiosity, but uh, at the same time. That, that, that is a good point. I don't. I don't know. I don't think it would be. I, I, I never. I, I never. I, I never. I never considered it. I haven't considered it a crown jewel. I, I I stopped considering it a crown jewel once Jeff Gordon retired, just so I could say Jeff Gordon had the crown jewels. Uh, I don't uh, think that NASCAR really considers any race to be quote unquote a crown jewel anymore. Like there, no race is a must have anymore. I think even the six hundred, we could see that. I don't know if well, the broadcast will, certainly feel the opposite. Potential. Well, yeah, but <laughs> the southern that's, that's the broadcast. We also have Mike Joy commentating, which this is not shitting on Mike Joy. This is just how he is. Mike Joy always brings up little tidbits of stories in the past and stuff. So that's that's just the way he is, and he'll, he's going to always bring that up, yeah. which is not anything bad. I'm just saying that's how he is. Yeah. And he always has little stories about the past still, which I, I enjoy a lot. So, you know, it's kind of the way he is. And it's also a, it's also a big part of the history of the sport. But where we are currently, I don't think, besides the Daytona 500, I don't think any race in this sport is safe. Uh, I think any one of them can get changed for a different Darlington. track or a different type of race or length of race or something. I think I think anything in the Carolinas ain't in danger, to be honest. No, no, I, yeah, Charlotte, Charlotte, not in danger. Let's be honest. Martinsville. No, not the at Carolinas all. Carolinas are the biggest sports. Charlotte, Charlotte's never going away. It's going to go away. The 600, however, may go away, but I don't no, think that. I don't no, think, no I don't way. Think, I don't That's think too much of a crown jewel. Away. I'm just, I'm, I'm just simply stating that there's a possibility with the way that NASCAR is now. As Steve Phillips has said he is willing to change up the schedule if he sees that there needs to be change. I think. So, um, <laughs> Martinsville. Way too many road courses now. They're putting this. Many. No, I think we need more. No, no. I, I, I honestly is... think. I honestly think. Well, we have seven now. Yeah, I think nine. Right. Eight, it, nine. It was, yeah, I think at least we need like nine or eight at least. Yeah, to be honest. one one or two more is the max. I would say. I would like to see more short tracks too. Because there's there's also not really any oh, other road courses out there that like I I can see the Cup Series being good at. I mean, maybe Road America. They would have to. We already we're already doing road. Yeah, yeah that's, you you are you are right. I am dumb. They but, have uh, to expand. Mid Ohio, Mid Ohio is possible. Canadian, they can't. Canada. Canadian Tire would be a good one. Or yeah, Montreal, Montreal, even yeah. A Canadian Tire, Montreal would be an option. I pref preferably would be most sport or Canadian Tire Motorsports Park, um, because it's closer to me. But I want to um, see freaking more short tracks. To be honest. Well, Nashville, Nashville Fairgrounds should be in the mail, so. Well, yeah, but it's like, I, I just really think, like, most of the attention's on short tracks and road courses, because those have been the best races so far, really. I mean, when was the last time we had, like, a really good speedway race? Be Las honest. Vegas. Yeah, Las, Las Vegas. Vegas a few weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, but, like, any others? Uh, was, like, I mean, there's multiple. Season. There's always both, a few per home, year. Both, homes, both mile and a half races this year have been really good. Yeah. yeah, Homestead was yeah. decent. Yeah, yeah, but then you look at a short track Homestead and you're like, like wait for that. Compared to Vegas, honestly, I never go into Bristol with like as very much uh, like um, anticipation. It's always well, Martin... I think it's because there was a cut the like three or four years there where you were just kind of like, oh boy, this track has been ruined, yeah. and then they finally changed it back, and it's gotten Martinsville is the only one I look like truly look forward to because that's with the yeah, cutoff Martinsville race now. Wild. It's, Martinsville it, it, honestly used to kind of be like quote unquote calm. Uh, compared to how short tracks were, and then all of a sudden, the last like three or four years is just every every time we get towards the end of that, that race is insane. Well, I think with NASCAR placing it where they have in the playoffs the last few years too yeah. has really helped. Yeah. I mean, technically they never move. They manufactured day. that, but it was it's beautiful. Like I, <laughs> it, it's the perfect racetrack for yeah. a round of eight race where drivers are trying to make it to the to the championship race. Like imagine Mark was a championship alone. race though. That's not people. I, just, I still think, the, yeah, that's the only other the place things they people would do is, is for a championship at Martinsville. Oh my god, that would that's, be awesome. how many people would be moved. How many people would be moved? How many people would be pissed? Hey man, just look what, what I did. 
it during the race. Man, imagine the guy is celebrating winning his championship, and the dude he punted to get out of the way comes up and fights him in the oh. championship victory lane. That oh. can happen at Martinsville. That, that's what I'm saying. That's why we need. We, they got to do it at least once. Um, it, it'd be way but, better than uh, Phoenix. I mean, they're doing this shit with the All Star race where they're changing the tracks every year. So it's like, uh, well, let's do it for the championship. Let's go. Yeah, let's, all right, let's be honest. The All Star race doesn't exist this year. Let's just. Yeah, let's I just mean, add, that's gonna be dumb. How long to have it? Texas sucks. It's always sucked, and it's never gonna be good. And again, it doesn't matter. Once they repave it, I mean, it's like if they repave shit. it, if they repave it and reconfigure it back to the way it was, I think it can be decent. But the the current configuration, if they don't ever change it, yeah, no. Uh-uh. Yeah, but like you said, though, it can really be, like, but we don't know. Like Atlanta. Texas would literally like Atlanta, but way younger. Atlanta needs to be repaved. I don't know yeah, why we're Atlanta's taking so damn beyond, long for this. Yeah, Atlanta auto, needs to be repaved for years Auto ago. club's in the same boat. It's too old. Well, we don't really have to worry about that anymore. They're yeah. racing at it next year. Yeah, we're going short track racing at Not yet. Not, not, not next mark. year. Wait, wait, wait. We're actually racing there next year. No, no. It's going to be the uh, what it is right now next year. Okay, yeah. A, wait, why didn't we Why didn't we race still, this still year then? Because of COVID. Well, they don't have... No, they haven't even started. Oh, yeah, yeah, they yeah, haven't you're right, started. you're right, you're right. It's going to be after the, whenever they race the next... Uh, there they can't go. race at Auto Club, but they didn't have problems with throwing fans in the stands of the Daytona 500? It was, no, it was because California <laughs> would not let them race there. Oh, okay, it was the, it was the state, were, California, okay. California That's smart. wasn't allowing okay. anything. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's like just the, yeah, the San Jose Sharks that. are... I don't even... Are the, are the San Jose Sharks even playing in California yet? <laughs> Uh, they probably uh, are now because they just started allowing stuff like last yeah. week. Yeah. So yeah, that... two weeks ago, something like that. So I like okay. that. They, I I didn't know that was what California was doing. I actually like that though. Um, but uh, so I mean, what we we just kind of got off topic. I forget what we. I forget literally what we were talking about. Uh, uh, schedule. Next gen testing and schedule. We went on a rant about next. What just we want to see with the next gen cars. Two. Quick things. First, Eddie was mentioning like the All Star race changing each year. The, the I think the finale should be different every year. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, I mean, we're already doing it with the All Star race. Why don't you try with the championship race? Well, what, what select fair, tracks being exempt that we cannot go to? To be fair, <laughs> the, the only reason it changed this year is simply Pocono. because they wanted to go to Coda, and the only way they could do that is if they made the All Star race at Texas. Because Eddie any, Gossage is kind of a whiny baby. Any Super Speedway or Pocono should be exempt from the championship. Yeah, I agree. The Daytona and Talladega would just be way too gimmicky. Or Michigan, yeah. That, yeah. Uh-huh. Or, yeah. Wait, wait, it's not going to be Michigan because it's going to it's any any no track effort. over a mile and a half should be exempt from. No, the I was thinking like uh, yeah, I think a lot a lot of the tracks can't even do it because of the time of the year. Yeah, it's that too. November. You can't like I'm going to just go through the schedule. You have to stick to the south. Honestly, you probably can't do Bristol. Actually, yeah, you can because Marsville's like later. Uh, hey, yeah, you probably can. Uh, you definitely can't do Dover. Can't do Michigan. Can't do Pocono. Just give them snow tires. Can't do Loudoun. Uh, that'll be fine. You're listing yeah. off a lot of tracks I would not even think about throwing as a finale. Yeah, actually, like all these tracks, you don't even need to worry about. Um, yeah, because uh, I know Eddie's going to disagree, but I'm going to keep saying it. Phoenix is not good. For it's terrible. <laughs> it last week proved it again. I want to say Homestead. Although I will say that race wasn't Homestead bad. Or Las Vegas. It wasn't bad. No. The best we'll, way to describe it was it great. It was a race. Yeah, we'll dive into that here shortly. But yeah, it wasn't a bad race by any means. But I definitely say Las Vegas isn't should championship, be the championship worthy. Championship race or the All Star race. An All Star would be interesting. It's, I like yeah, short I track All Star races. All Star race really would, would draw a lot of attention, honestly. I think yeah, Vegas is starting to Vegas. show after the last couple of years why it's a good track. Because look at the races the last like what two three years they've been really freaking good. And the I don't know what it is. Awesome. It's called the Prime Age of Asphalt. Yeah, I think we're yeah Las Angry Vegas is the mile Australia. and a half now. But well, I think I mean, Kansas, Kansas too. But we don't talk about the fall race. We don't talk yeah. about Kansas in the fall. Oh. Alarm! 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 Put alert! The again. All right, is it time to talk about the cup race at this point? Oh yeah, no, so. we got to talk about one more thing. Oh, one more you notice thing. here, I mentioned number placement next gen part. So, a big topic that has once again come up for I don't know how many times it's come up now, but it's come up again because uh, NASCAR is continuing to contemplate if they want to move the number 
It's a stern. It's an Adam Stern bomb. It's happening, guys. Yes. Except the fact. Oh no, we're getting nuked. Oh no. <laughs> and people are very passionate about where a number is on a race car. I um. And my opinion, personally, is I don't care where the number is. If it looks good, then roll with it. They want to throw it on the quarter panel, do that. If it looks good, roll with it. it um, I honestly think so. The best way to do it, in my opinion, and I think I've said this all along, is just give the teams and the sponsors the freedom to put it wherever they want to put it. Don't mandate a spot. Just open it up to let them put it either right where they it do is that now, in the Canada back series, towards the wheel well, or on the quarter panel. They, like, in the Canada let series, the, just they... Let the, give them the freedom to do it and design a scheme or force them to put a number in a certain spot. Yeah. If you're going to do that, just let them have the freedom to do however they want it. Like, uh, it was received so poorly at the All-Star race for the simple fact that teams just didn't care. And the no, ones that did they that... They just kind of took their regular... Most of them just took their regular schemes and just moved the number back. It looked so look bad. Terrible. It was a rough one. And then you think about. I still um, think that it would look terrible on the quarter panel, no matter. That, what. That's the one right spot. The wheel well. Yeah, like if they put it in front of the wheel well, though, like I've seen several renders of schemes, and even there was some schemes at the All Star race, and I was just like, yeah, Matt that Kenseth. would be fire to have that every race. Yeah. Well, the schemes that did design their cars around the way the numbers were supposed to be placed yeah. turned out to be good. Kenseth, like the Energizer of course. Car? Energizer was oh, a good goodness. car. Oh my goodness, that was one of the be- That was like the best scheme of the entire year. Um, they definitely need to, if they're going to put I, it I there, they agree. need to size when it you, down. When you move the number out of the way of the side and you put a sponsor logo there and you like design a paint scheme around that side of the car, you can make it look really good because you can put such a big design there. But when you just kind of slap the number on randomly and don't design the scheme around it, it looks terrible. I, I mean, I, I think if NASCAR did mandate it, of course, teams would obviously start to design around that way. But yeah, like... There's so much more space where they can do stuff with the, like Jay said, the design in general, because uh, they don't have a big number slapped right there in the center of the car. Um, at Combat, I just posted a nice picture there of some potential ideas. Like there, there's one of like maybe, like I said, the quarter panel with the next gen car. I don't think would work very well. Um, no, it's so short. Yeah, and it's just so small. But I, I think the only place is the All Star location. Honestly, the, yeah. the the window, the number in the window isn't bad either. I, I feel yeah, like on the, on the people would. Window, I, I don't yeah. think it's bad either. I feel like NASCAR fans would boycott if that happened. And they're going to boycott whatever they do. I know, <laughs> yeah, but they yeah, did they go harder. NASCAR change, fans can be... change generally. Yeah. Well, I can, okay, so I can, I can see, like, I, I can see them being kind of ridiculous for hating most change, but this is a change where I'm almost, like, on board with because I just, I think it'll look really ridiculous. But at the same time, if it's a mandated thing, or like it's a thing where they give them the freedom to put it wherever they want to, then teams will probably design the schemes around it, and it won't look as bad as people think. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't think it's. I've I've grown on it a lot more since it eventually happened. I was originally just full on against it, didn't want to change my mind, and then a lot more renders and stuff have been made, and I'm just kind of like, that's really nice. I'm more open to this idea. Really like dumb. No matter what, no matter what NASCAR does, there's always gonna be some certain amount of people. Oh yeah, NASCAR fans always have it. something to complain about. No matter there's what There's gonna it is. be a group that uh, will this, be upset. This yeah, is exactly somebody's why, gonna be upset. This is exactly why people can't take things seriously what NASCAR says because there's gonna be negative, there's gonna be positive. It gets annoying after a while when somebody bitches about anything in the world. Like we would have a good race for once, and I don't know. Let's like let's just say like I don't know. Um. Going back to Thanks. Watkins the Glen from when Chase Elliott won his first race, right? And I'm going to go off of this because I remember what exactly what happened. Remember when Chase won Watkins Glen his first time, right? We all remember this. Unfortunately. Um, <laughs> there were so many people that were bitching that NASCAR needs to change the way the fueling system works in the cars. Like, really? Out of all of that, you're finding one picky thing out of it just is always a serious. really good race. It's a fuel tank. It, it's just stupid. Like, they'll they'll freaking go after anything. It just drives me nuts. It's just stupid. It's like I don't understand why there has to be some kind of person in the world that just bitches about anything. Like, it would be a good freaking like their driver would win a race. They still find something to bitch about. It just makes sense. And then and then we had a whole lot of fans thought the Daytona 500 was good. Yeah, yeah but uh... seriously, like. <laughs> It just doesn't. It just drives me nuts. Like people are just not smart. 
Like, come on. I think, um, I think no matter what, whether they do make a change, don't make a change, or a lot of teams do whatever, they're gonna get they're gonna get some some uh, bad feedback. But I mean, if they make the if they make like the mandatory change, and teams build their schemes around it, I don't think it'll be that bad. And I think that's, I think pretty much everybody at least here can agree on that. I don't, I don't really care, man. <laughs> Yeah, it's also right. a number. Like, it's, it's, not a, it's, not, it's not a number is not going to affect the on-track racing. It'll make uh, cars look potentially ugly, but I can deal with ugly cars down if there's good racing. The the one the one thing is is like even our even though we have our opinions, I think we can all agree them doing this is going straight against what the fan base is wanting. Yeah, and that is a little concerning that. You hear all all these fans don't want it. It doesn't matter what you think. And but NASCAR is going to be like, sometimes I think it's wrong to listen to NASCAR fans. I agree to an extent, right? Yeah, I agree. But, but, to an but here's, as well. here's but when but I, I also the, the agree issue with is, point. Here's the thing: this feels like a NASCAR trying to fix a problem that doesn't exist. Yeah. Well, no, okay. It's it's not they're trying to fix a problem that doesn't exist. They're they're literally doing this purely because they want to get more money, and that's the whole reason why they're not really listening to the fans' opinions. They're listening yeah. to the sponsors' opinions and only the sponsors' opinions, because if the sponsors like mm-hmm. it and will pay more money, if the schemes are done like that, then obviously, boom, that that's what's going to yeah. be done. And it's, it's what NASCAR's turned into now. Which, I mean, in a way, it's a bad thing, but in another way, like it's it's the way today's world is. You have to have money, and especially in the NASCAR world, you have to have money for funding. Teams are gonna, you know, things are getting expensive, and and teams need more money from sponsors. NASCAR needs more money from sponsors to keep going. So, I, it's it's just the reality we live in now. Teams are gonna have to, you know, everybody's gonna have to find the best way to get money they can, and if that means moving a number on the car, and teams get paid like you know so much x more money. If a number gets moved, boom, easily done. Yeah, I'll leave it at this so we can go to the next topic. If you're going to stop watching it, watching NASCAR because they move a number, that's just a yikes, dog. That That's <laughs> a uh, barn kick. Get out. Yeah, there's there's a lot more in this sport to be excited about than a number placement. I still and... say they should go back to 900 horsepower and be like, bam, go. <laughs> Yeah, See I'd like to, I'd like the horsepower to come talent. back too, but that, that's a whole other tangent and argument to get on that yeah, I, I don't on. think Gary wants us to do. Moving on. Let's talk about 900 horsepower real quick, okay? No. It would, 2014 Gary, package. Gary, get started, we're not going to stop. I, I'm fine with it. We can go as long as we want. Uh, 2014 Gary and package. I got, all right, all right, I'm interrupting. Gary, an hour ago. This has to be 90 minutes. Gary, now. We can go as long as we want. Nah, keep going. The 2014 package is, the, in my opinion, in my lifetime, the pinnacle of cup racing. Yeah. High horsepower, high downforce. They were such a great combination. It was before, I can't remember exactly what NASCAR did, but there was some restriction that they put on the engines in like 2015 or 2016. That kind of, even though they were. Power. Yeah. Uh, they, I can't remember exactly what the restriction like was. But they, yeah, yeah, they, I, I. My my point is, is that the high high horsepower, high downforce, was great. It and was, when they changed it, it, show, it shows all it the skills of all the drivers of who can control it and who can and ride it out. Like when I think so, back to like what year stands out the most in terms of where we always there was always some good racing going on, some good moments. Twenty fourteen, every time. It didn't have. It wasn't down to the. There was a lot of fights that year too, but. It didn't come down to like those. Like the racing was just downright great. I mean, I think about Chicago 2014, the playoff Chicago race there. Was, that was uh, the same one I was Elena thinking too. versus uh, Jeff versus Jimmy Sue can hold. That was 2011. Oh, close enough. Still three years the off, horsepower. but hey, we'll count it. Uh, um, Still had the horsepower, so. Miami, Miami, that was a good race. Uh, I mean. Martinsville, I don't remember actually what Martinsville. Junior, Dale Junior. Jr. won that. Right? Jeff Gordon should have won it. He was closing in. I remember that part. Um, it would have made the final four. Ends up finishing second in position to win a week later, and then Brad Keselowski cuts his left retire down after going for a hole that wasn't there, and that preceded uh, Jeff to miss the final four. After Wait. Ryan Newman cut half the track, he thought that was good racing. 
Anyways. You gotta do um, what you gotta do. Right? Hey, Gary, like you said, you gotta do what you gotta do. When it's you, to make it. I, 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 but I, I, uh, <laughs> I, I got you now. I got you now. <laughs> he got him. I got one thing I really want to just dive in on here is people that really rip into this current package. NASCAR tried this package because the NASCAR fan base despised the previous package and it voiced it so hard how bad the racing was because of how spread out everybody got. So NASCAR tried to change that and get what we wanted. Did they fail? Absolutely. But they tried to do it and fans are so mad about it when NASCAR tried to give us what they, we wanted. They also made the change to see how it would affect if they did the same thing for the next gen car. It was it was really a test for next gen. It was it was an on track forty car test for how for the things they could do with the next gen car and, and changes they should make. And in my opinion, they hopefully saw this and see fan feedback and are like, Oh heck, they don't like this. When was the last time they really liked racing? Oh, it was twenty fourteen? Oh, okay, nine hundred horsepower, really big spoiler. Here you go, have fun. But that probably won't happen simply because they they also talked about they did this to save teams money, which technically they're not saving money right now because the engines are still 750 horsepower. They just have a tapered spacer. So they're not really cheaper. They're just slower for no reason. But they will be when the new engine regulations come into play. Yeah, that's probably when we'll get the cheaper engines, and that does mean that most likely we will have uh will most likely have still low uh horsepower but karma like i think karma brought it up last week if they got rid of the tapered spacer it would 550 would be fine uh-huh well, let's get rid of it if it's, a, if it's an engine designed for 550 it's gonna be fine. um phoenix raceway someone was on pole does anybody remember who was on pole Denny Hamlin. Denny yeah. Hamlin. Oh. Yeah, offer oh, pad. Cup. That yeah. offer pad car looked really good, by the way. I think it was Hamlin. Yeah, it was decent. Lord, I, it was Brad. It was Brad. Brad. Oh, because he cut down all the way yeah, to the wall. I was going to say, I thought it was Brad because I remember him almost clipping the wall. Yeah, well, I, you know what? But, it, it, was, it was hard to remember. Any. It was Brad, yeah. The, yeah, Brad. Yeah, and then uh, Hamlin took the lead quickly after that. And then lost the race. No, it was Blaney. Uh, Blaney. Blaney went and got the lead, too, and then he won the stage. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got stage two. Stage two, Lugano. There really wasn't much that happened until, like, the final stage. Uh, Bowman got There wasn't bought. much that happened the entire race. Oh, yeah, was... because freaking Ross Chastain's a bonehead. <laughs> Literally. The dude can't drive. I don't know why we thought he was ready for cup. Chastain? Dude's in, yeah, Ross Chastain. Oh, absolutely. Idiot. Oh, well, he, well, he, man, the guy in Xfinity drives way over his head. We thought, you know what? Let's he put him in a cup car. He didn't win anything in Xfinity. I get he did like years ago, but freaking he didn't win a race in his one year in Xfinity. But then he just gets a promotion to the 42 because they have no other options. And he's already like, chipped in. Uh, I mean, Eric Jones was an option last year. Yeah, but freaking. He, Chip Ganassi is too stupid to realize freaking somebody's better than the other person. Like, they're just going to go uh, and have more I clout. Think... I think there's another thing going on. The Chastain thing is more of a sorry about the DC Solar incident. I, I, I Yeah, literally that too. I don't mind publicly Stupid. outing Chastain that I do not like that guy. He's quickly becoming my most disliked driver. Ross Chastain doesn't know how to drive a damn car besides being another Ryan Newman. He Literally, that's what he's turning into. He's Those massive block. blocks. Cleans he's out. Finish 20th every race. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, got Alex Bowman turned by the three because he was... I don't know. He so had slow a on the top. Problem. How do you slow on the top? I think he just had I'm, a moment. Uh, damn. He must have just had a moment in the car or something. He, he, um, Bob, 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 dumped a two-time champion. Yeah. Because he can. It's almost seems. Well, like... I mean, like Kyle got loose, but I'm like, well, he could have also backed off and not turned him, but he didn't. <laughs> you know, he just drove through him. Dude, Chastain would be uh, a great fit on Penske. Hey, if Joey Logano out of nowhere retires, we know he's going in that car. Freaking no! Just put literally put two of the biggest roadblocks in the freaking Penske. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh. You know. Uh, you know what the monster team would be? It would be Ricky Stenhouse, Joey Logano, and Ross Chastain. Yeah. Oh God. Three Get the three of them stones. up front and block the entire field. Three kidney stones. Uh, Ryan Newman too, I guess. If you want to, if you want to get a fourth one. I should say that Ricky Stenhouse is. I just want to. I want to talk about this. Yeah, he's been decent. I, 
I, I said this la- about the championship race last year. Why in the hell are we using PJ1 here? I it's still so think that bad. It would be a good thing. I still think it would be a good thing to use. They just put way too much of it down. It's so like bad. That's, that's the issue that NASCAR does with like every track is they go to put the PJ1 down and then they just basically make a whole new surface with PJ1. And if you're not running in that, you're you're so in, you're so epically slow. Like it, it takes it from one groove to just another one groove. It, it doesn't add a second groove because of how much they put down. Uh, it's so bad, man. I, I hate it. I hate it because it's just like, man, it's you're forcing also, everyone to like, run a line. It's a really bad sign when you have to put down traction compound to make a track a decent to like try and make a track a decent race. The championship I, track shouldn't have to have that problem. Yeah. All right. I, it's a really bad sign when you have to put down right. traction compound to try and make it a good race. And this is what I I think this. It is worse to have a track where the high line is dominant. Compared to the low line. And I'll explain why. And it's pretty I easy agree. to explain why. If the high line's better, it's harder to pass if the high line is the better line. Yeah, because you get the run off the corner no matter what. You always carry a lot more speed. Yeah. You'll always be faster than the guy on the inside. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, I, Phoenix, I just don't agree with it being the championship race. And I, 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 I mean, they tried it once, and it, in my opinion, wasn't a good race, and I was surprised they did it again. Um, but I genuinely think this year is just kind of a get through it year, and, and yeah, test new get to the road, next gen, uh, new road courses and stuff, and next year we'll probably see some shakeups. Um, I, I don't doubt that we'll see probably some different stuff happen next year. So there was only like two notable incidents, I think, in the Phoenix race, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Ross Chastain was involved in both of them. Yeah. That was the Cody Ware thing too. Oh, yeah, Cody, yeah, Cody Ware and Alfredo. Alfredo. Oh yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, Cody, Cody Ware. I can't. We had such a fast broke. car. I can't believe we got done by a lap car or whatever. I'm like, can't be serious. You are driving for Rurik. Ware. Please. Stop and go home. Man, actually, a lot of speak. I actually like Cody Ware. <laughs> I don't know. Shut up, I don't know where what he said. Apparently, well, he also said there was more to it than what the replay showed. And I mean, the replay did show the very moment the crash pretty much happened. So who knows what happened beforehand? But at the same time, I mean, it looked like he just cleaned him out. You know, <laughs> Anthony's reaction I mean, I mean, was, I mean, was I'm pretty sure that's yeah. sure flat tire. Anthony's um, reaction was the greatest. I need. Uh, no, what was it? I, I don't even know what it was. Anthony, Anthony said, like, I don't know why a guy that runs 35th or worse every week is complaining that we're in his way. I mean, <gasps> I don't know why a guy that could run mediocre in Xfinity is in a cup car. I mean, you can say the same thing for John Hunt though. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, front row, just front, row. Front, row, front row doesn't know what the hell they're doing when they hire drivers. They, they, they had such a future and then all of a sudden oh, Fro just imploded himself with really her drivers. When like uh, honored, uh, wait, like, wasn't terrible equipment, so front row is not as bad as people think they are. Yes, they no, are. they're no, they're they're like equipment wise they're good. Well not good, but they're decent mid pack. They just I mean they McDowell like, is only good on road courses and super speedways and then their Alfredo is untested, unproven. Well can you blame them for getting Alfredo though? Like John Hunter was like, "All right, boys, I'm gonna head out this randomly," and you're like, yeah, that's true. Uh, "Who who do I, who do we sign?" Kaz like, Grola. It, I wouldn't sign Kaz Grola. One, one cup race at a road course. Is and your, Alfredo yeah. didn't run one cup race either. I would no, go they're, they're for both unproven. go for a, a little bit of experience at least. But, but like a little bit of experience, who are you gonna go? <laughs> that's the problem like, like, you, can't, you can't you can't really blame them for doing this you can't i don't have a I, I think it's it. a good money strat yeah um but it, it, whatever and man. i mean if he if he plans out if, if he pans out and like is actually good then i mean i'll, I'll eat my sock i guess but like <laughs> i you know i just it, it looks kind of you know <sighs> not like a good decision right now but i mean he's also only done five cup races so more seat time would have got him up and running more because he didn't have that much seat time. Didn't even run a full oh, yeah. season in Xfinity. No, he was splitting it with, uh, what was it, Myatt? Yeah, 
Corolla. No, my it too. Oh like yeah, three, that too. There's three people switching between the in car. In the 21 car, and that was and then, it. And then now of all the picks, Myatt Snyder, the guy who finished the worst out between Alfredo and Myatt, gets the full time ride, which makes no sense either. But anyway, I thought Alfredo should have gotten full time in Xfinity. Um, yeah, he should have. It should be him over Myatt yeah, Snyder right I now. Thought... I mean, I don't know what you guess do. what? Do you think Alfredo cares? Because he's now he's in a cup car now. No, no. Uh, no, but I, I'm just saying though. Like, if Alfredo wasn't in a Cup car right now, I think my it would be a good argument. It won. He won a race, so it doesn't matter how he won it. He won it. Um. So I'm of a driver though. Was there anything other notable things in the Cup race? Uh, other than the winner, Kyle uh, Busch almost dumped. True X one guys. I was happy with yeah. that. I don't think anyone yeah, else was, but I was happy with it. I was okay with them. I'm looking uh, at the points. So I got that Hamlin pulled up. Hamlin's lead is ridiculous. Yeah, Hamlin. I, I mean, no all I'm oh, saying how, is this but... lining up, he's going to be consistent. He's not going to win and much, and a... he's going to light hey, it up in the playoffs, gonna... and he's going to so. win the championship. Hey, he's going to choke guess... again no, like he always he's winning does. It. He's choking I guess again. there's there's one other thing we can point on is both Trackhouse and 23XI were both were running pretty decent. First time we've seen 2311. Uh, oh, 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 we got to talk. We have to talk about that terrible oh. 2311 call. Bubba. Hey, oh, yeah, hey, hey my, my, oh. my prediction was right, Gary, when you tweeted. I, I You were like, man, he just threw away top 10. I was like, bro, he threw away top 15. Yeah, I didn't even he's get right. that. I mean, he's right he where he 16. averages his finish. He gets 16th to 20th every week. Um, Yeah, Bubba that, bro, drove. He was faster than that. Bubba drove into the top 10, up to 7th, I think it was. The Bubba haters are having a panic attack. Yes, yeah, so he he was straight up just <laughs> beating everybody. Yeah, yeah I, I guess I guess I have to eat my words a little too because I was like a little I was I was like I'm getting a little concerned, but I didn't think that team had it. Um, and then the caution I, comes I, out and they're like, "Let's keep him." I out. still won't believe it to be honest. Yeah, I, I still want to see more mile and a half. I need to see yeah. more consistency. That they one race ain't show nothing. Than everybody else. It was a glimmer and, of hope. And Kyle Larson probably throwing away a race by speeding on pit road. No, I don't. I don't think anyone was beating no. that nineteen dude. For they some... got that. They got that nineteen hooked up, and he was like, once out. he hit the wall, it's like he found a different kind of speed at the beginning. <laughs> that, oh, sometimes that happens. It does happen sometimes. It's. Sometimes. It, 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 I swear it's happened with the 19 Hey, man, before. that arrow advantage, man. <laughs> it's going to be like last year where he only wins one race. I hope so. Yeah. No. Probably. I, I, I don't think, man. I, I, yeah, he won one race last year, but like there was a section of time where he had like nine top threes in a row. It's just like he was really good. He just didn't win. One race with a fender advantage. Yeah. Cut off the whole freaking <laughs> left side of the car. Uh, hey, man. He won um, Kyle Busch had yeah. another day. Slowly but surely. Retired. I mean, at the when stage one was going, I was like, it's looking pretty good for Kyle Busch. And then we came to yeah. the end of the race, and it was not looking good and then at he all. Just maxed the wall. If Kyle does not win a single race this year, then we need to start talking about him going away. He's got Sorry. at least another all right, decade. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, boys. Let's let's, let's calm down here. Isn't he thirty two? He's um, 35. thirty five. Thirty five. I want I want to point something out. So, if you compare Jeff Gordon's career to Kyle Busch's career right now, Kyle Patton. No, I thought that's what it was. So basically, their years in Cup, like let's just say they were in for fifteen years. I don't know the exact number of it. Their fifteenth year, for this example, Jeff Gordon's two thousand eight, and then Kyle Busch's twenty twenty. Two thousand eight was a year. <laughs> He, but, that, but, whole, like, that whole stretch for Gordon was just... He had a rough stretch, and then he came back. Not good. But his coming back wasn't as good as his prime still. But did you no. expect it to be? No. no. But, like... Well, he also... Hendrick wasn't as, as dominant of a team as it was when he was in his prime either. Hendrick was the absolute team to beat every single week, no matter what. Yeah. I'm just saying... I'm just saying... We... There's no reason to be concerned with Kyle Busch right nah. now. There is literally... Yeah, no, zero. I I, no, not at all. The man, The man has got so much talent. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna stay in the sport. And he's gonna keep winning races. I think if practice, I, I think if we have more practice, he'd, he'd be dominating again. Um, I, but I look at know, Kyle Busch. I genuinely think that's hurting him the most. The way Kyle I Bush agree. is, and with how finicky he is with setups, I, I think that is what's truly hurting him is no practice. It's hurting a lot of people. Absolutely. I, I'm pretty sure he was running really well last year until we came back and had started yeah, just uh, like and Chase having practices. Just like Chase. And wasn't running well. And like I only look at one driver in NASCAR right now that I consider 
to be um, that is capable of being successful in anything you put him in, and that's Kyle Busch. That mm-hmm. dude is insanely talented. Um, I don't know about Derek Carr. But it's disappointing that he Watch really... The dirt race. <laughs> that'd be hilarious. No. It's disappointing that he hasn't like ventured out to other forms of racing. I just don't think he cares. Well, he yeah. wants to do Indy, the 500. Um, maybe maybe yeah, later in his he career. Gonna, is he going to be able to find a team to do that? Uh, he said he had it. Well, he said he had it. His wife won't let him do it. That's, yeah, that's what he said. He said he had it lined up, and his wife said no. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's All why right. you don't get married. Can't do the Indy 500. Well, it's a divorce for me. Uh, All right. Um, any and uh, people uh, also like the people like man. JGR was really struggling so far this year. I was like, you got you guys are freaking. Blind. Denny Hamlin <laughs> is dest- other than not winning. Denny Hamlin is destroying everybody. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah, oh. Christopher Bell has also already won a race. Like, and yeah. Truex won. And, and, I mean, Denny Hamlin's destroying people on track and on social media. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Hamlin, uh, Hamlin's so funny. Maybe that's the trick. He just lights up his social balls. media. I mean, he's still going to choke like Mark Martin. No, hold up. Yeah, you you want to hit him with the quote that Denny pulled out? No, I don't I don't know it exactly. I, uh... It was funny, though, with Kyle Busch. Hey, Kyle, Bush you... not getting to a meeting. He's going to yeah. show up this week? <laughs> You're gonna show up this week. <laughs> that was great, dude. It would be so funny to have Ham- somehow get Hamlin and he just goes off on the podcast and he just goes off at everyone. <laughs> hey man, it'll be it'll be really good though. Oh, dude. I don't oh know if we can, but hey, hey Karma. Very good luck uh, with that. Going off topic real quick. The New York Rangers are up nine to nothing on the Philadelphia. Oh my Flyers god! In the second period. <laughs> the Flyers. Second, yeah, the Flyers. <laughs> Second, second period, by the way. What? Flyers. You mean what? like the the, the nice. Philadelphia Flyers, one of the best teams? Whoa. They scored seven goals in the second. Yeah, seven goals in the second period. Oh. Turned up. Good night. All right, that is hilarious. Rip Philadelphia. Okay. Um. Yeah, it is. Wow. <laughs> is it a baseball game? Um. No. So I wanted to mention, other than Kevin Harvick, Stuart Haas was garbage again. Uh, yeah, they were yeah, was, no, yeah, was actually a top ten car, and then he sped on pit road, which was yeah. And then the, everything goes downhill from there. Right now, I told you, I told everyone, Chase Briscoe isn't gonna really do anything. Now hold on, he's twenty fifth. <laughs> he's doing better than about fourteen other cars. Custer's right, having a so, breakout well, I, year right I'm now. Saying, He's in 20th no, in the what, standings. What I'm saying is, rookies don't do, really do anything anymore. And people are like, man, Bristol's been with like two races this year. I'm like, are you crazy? He's not going to win any. I don't win any. He's going to miss the playoffs. He's not going to win a race. I, even though I did say he would make the playoffs, I don't think he is now. <laughs> even, wow. even if Briscoe were good enough. That's a long shot there, Albright. Jesus. Even if Briscoe were good enough, started. I honestly think that Stuart Haas focuses so much on making that four car as best as it can be, it, it just takes away from the other three cars. And they aren't yep. as good. I, I, Eric Jones beat that 14, him. I, th- I think the 14 is the worst car of the four. Well, man, I'm, Eric Jones it, had a decent run this week. Then they, I guess, I guess uh, from what I understand, they lost a the handle at the end or something. The track must like made a big shift and they just didn't adjust accordingly. But I mean, all I saw in Eric's tweet was that they were fighting a loose car all day. Yeah. So, I mean, Eric, 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 Eric ain't one for uh, much of talking. <laughs> yeah, he uh, doesn't. The you don't know really. No, they just they the handling towards the end. They just didn't have it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Um, it De was, Benedetto uh, now up to twenty eighth in the standings. Hey man, he's, 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 he's getting. In reality, there. he's only out by fifty-one points right now. I mean, he's got to finish top ten to make playoffs. If you're about Eric Almarola, twenty-sixth. Yeah. Uh that's a notable I look at because I'm always surprised when he makes the playoffs. But if I mean, at the way things are going, I think this could be the year he doesn't make it. Um, he didn't make it last year, did he? Yeah, he made it. He was like a first I round did. or a second round elimination as usual. Uh, um, <laughs> do you really expect any uh, different? Uh, no. no. <laughs> put the Eric guy, Jones in the car. Dude. That's all you need to do. Eric Almarola is good enough to put a top tier car in a sixteen driver playoff grid. That's as far as he can. He can I, go. I still wouldn't call that car top tier, but honestly, I don't even know. On, I don't know. We have to put like. 
Yeah. Put Kyle Busch in that car, and then we'll have an idea. Or Chase Elliott. Uh, Ross Is there Chastain, anything to touch 21st. on in the Xfinity race? I don't, I don't, Austin Cendrick won. I don't won. remember anything. That Austin awesome. Cendrick won. That's, that's pretty much it. Noah Gregson. Yeah, Josh, Barry, Josh Barry, Barry, Barry flipped Joe someone off. That's all I remember. Yeah. Noah that, Gregson struggling still. That face they Josh Barry made. Killed Brandon Jones. Yeah, I didn't see Xfinity, mm. so I, I'm relying that, on you guys. That's about it. I kind of wa- I was like half watching. I, I, the only the main thing the only I remember is they were having to run nothing running. but the top line, and if they didn't run the top line, they yeah. had no chance of doing True. anything. Yeah. Oh, you um, want to know something? Oh, sorry. Are we done with the cup race? Pretty much. So. Yeah. It was a race. It was a race. It happened. It was painfully average, just like most Phoenix races. Um. We we haven't talked about the Coke Series race. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, pretty chill. There was, there was multi groove racing though, so there, there was, was an improvement there. Yeah, that it was, was yeah, If probably doesn't have i racing, uh, they did an update where you can have multi groove racing. Uh, on yeah, and uh, can confirm it. NAS, it is true. I hate it. Uh, yes. I hate it. Maybe this stuff. I, mostly the bomb the I can't time. deal with how freaking loose it is, man. It's so yeah, I was loose. I was very happy with my NAS performance. What lane did you place. run? The middle to the top. Well, I'm, I'm, um, I'm Matt, what, what, where are you running? Uh, you can run the bottom so, for like the first ten laps, and it just gets untie- un like unbearably did, tight. So at the very start of the run, like ten laps, it, you're like, you probably, if you're alone, you want to be on the inside. But uh, as the run goes, you kind of just start moving Turn around. I ran a lot of the middle, or like you start up really high and then you cut low on the exits. Like that, so you've definitely got options. Yeah. Dirty air still sucks. Shocker. Yep, sucks. Killed me. <laughs> but, I, I, I could have finished third. Back to, I went from back to uh, getting sixth by just running the bomb the whole time and then everybody die. That's the strap right there. I enjoyed it. It was good. It's just freaking dirty air is just so impactful now. It's just you have to just yep. figure it out. But it's so hard yeah, it's to like, figure it out like though. A, it's like it's a, we feel the pain of the real life drivers. <laughs> But it's like, that's literally what Atlanta should be in real life, but it's not, which sucks. Well, also, the tire fall-off is not as big as it is. No, but it still sucks, though. I wish Atlanta was like that in real life. Atlanta, I feel like this week's going to be just boring as shit. It's going to be single file on the bottom. All right, but uh, back back on topic of Coke Series race, it happened. Yeah. Um, Clamps, you got a win. It was was a good race. And Logan Clamp at one. First First win in like 40-something races. Yeah. 44, I think it was. Yeah. yeah. He was very emotional. Yeah, very. Cried. Isaac Gann very... got uh, black flagged. For no reason. Yeah, for blinking. Multiple for times blinking that, yeah. around yeah. nobody. The whole explanation of that was apparently the officials saw him blinking, but nobody else did, so the officials just decided to park him. Well, I thought and Kane Cook reported something. Yeah, that's what that's what their allegations were, and then they came out with a full statement saying that the iRacing official saw him blinking. Nobody, none of the drivers did though. But so just the uh, did. even uh, if fun. that though, like he wasn't battling anyone, he wasn't around any other cars at the no, time. He, had, he, he had a two and a half second lead over the guy in fourth. So it's like okay, if if like keep doing your thing and hopefully it resolves itself. When no one's around you, just keep going, right? Like pretty much. Yep. I, I and uh, we mentioned this I, uh, last night. Like it's really shady how iRacing runs that series and how they try to kind of keep but things quiet. That wasn't a caution. That one, yeah, that one crash. Yeah, the, the one God. crash, yeah. Two cars go crashing uh, with each other. No caution. Somebody was trying to enter pit road. Or somebody didn't make it in time. There was smoke. Oh, Malik yeah, that... ran into somebody, and so did. Ran that one was a caution, thing. though. That one was a caution. There's definitely some uh, sus, but that, that wasn't a caution. Th- we stayed green. No, that right? was a caution. And yeah, there yeah, was, the red, there yeah, was the a red. big wreck on the back it straightaway. Was, I say big uh, wreck because there was, there was no big hits and stuff. And... That was involved. I know Zach Novak, <laughs> Malik Ray, Ray Alfala. That was a caution one. Yeah. I don't know who the other guy was, but that was a caution. Yeah, and then there was the one, uh, I think it was Bowen in the green one car, and then someone else, they went crashing. Um, uh, I know somebody in is a that Ashton Crowder in the one car? A... Yeah. Whoops. No, it was a bacon car, and somebody else that was going in the three. 
Yeah, it's got, John Garlinski and, and Graham Bolin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And then there goes everybody. He screwed, he screwed Graham over big time. Graham would have had a top 10, and he got he didn't even finish the 10 to top 15. I stand by my statement of last night. They need to so stop switching rides every year <laughs> just for confusion <laughs> issues. Um, uh -huh. Me and J uh, like, uh, Jay agreed with me. I was like, I saw the 97. I was like, oh, Gorlinski, he's doing pretty good tonight. And no, that's Logan Clampett. Um, I don't even know what card Gorlinski drives anymore. And then you get used for Wood Brothers. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Oh, another thing is like teams come and go too, right? Like, yeah, yeah, like Austin Dillon Motorsports or whatever his team was. Yeah, is that still they're a thing? Out. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, they're gone. That was fun. It was fun. Uh, isn't Steve Latart Motorsports gone too? No, that's there. No, Latart Esports. Oh, okay. It's Chris we, Shearburn it, and Bobby Zelensky. Um, oh, okay. and Garrett Maines. Hey. Yeah, I mean, with Elliot Settler. That, yeah. That's what we were just talking about. Yeah. Hey, and he had a good run. He, yeah, he, he had, had a good run. Top 10. But, yeah, uh, he, he literally got 10. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I was just happy to see Clampett back in victory lane. That was good. Hey, I just love how they're like, did you know him and Conti were our roommates? <laughs> My man oh, Conti man. was straight out shooting. Oh, the dude! They're roommates, guys. They didn't, haven't you heard? It's like the William Byron started his career on a computer thing, but now it's, they're wow. roommates. I hope they end up crashing each other for a championship at the end of the year. Oh, that would, Jesus. Let's and we have, have a photo or a live stream of them. Uh, and then all the first fight. high racing Coca Cola yes. series fight. That would be that uh, epic. Um, a... <laughs> it'd be um, funny. Probably like wouldn't look good for NASCAR. That content in a half. Uh, okay. uh, we, that's pretty much all we have to talk about that. Then. Pretty yeah, much, uh, yeah. No, there there wasn't that. really much stuff that happened in that race either. Uh, I mean, the was rolling so, in. what, we have two more things? We have you want some... to do predictions for next week, Loki? What's Atlanta? next week? Atlanta? Kevin Harvick. Yeah. Kevin Harvick? No, no. no. Uh, Kevin ain't got speed it. For a while, oh. so I ain't going with him. Hey, you know, you know, being a little slow. A years ago and then blew his own race away. I know, man. Larson. Hey, you want to know something? Being a little slow at Atlanta is not necessarily a bad thing now. Yeah, because tire fall off. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll be faster in the later run. I don't know, man. I'm I'm picking uh one of the Penske guys. I'm picking Brad because he's always been pretty pretty decent there. He finished second to Harvick there last time. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with Chase. Uh, not because of favoritism. He has an average finish of like tenth or eleventh here, so he's pretty consistent. Unless last year he finished eighth, so or eighth or sixth, I can't remember. But he's getting a little bit better. It'd be nice to see him I'm win going, at home too. I'm going with Larson. You really expect him to not choke two hey, races man. in a row at a mile and a half? Hey man, high, <laughs> wide, and handsome. I'm sending off. Well, I mean, technically, he choked Phoenix. He still got a good finish, but he still choked. Yeah. yeah. Not really. 0 0.001 miles per hour, whatever it was, over the yeah, limit. And he almost choked Vegas. He tried almost, to choke yeah. it away. He gave it a good. He got. He gave it. A try. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Denny Hamlin <laughs> chokes championships every try. year, so. Who? Denny Hamlin chokes a championship every two well, years. We're not talking. We're not talking about Hamlin now, are we? Yeah. With well, this format, I'd though. rather win ten races in a championship. Well, that's you win one race in a championship. <laughs> I, I like I like how yeah. Gary's like I support the playoff format. Insert but my but, I, but I but I'd rather win races than championships. Yeah, but at the same time, the format rewards the winning room. races. Yeah, Matt Crafton enters the room. He he did exactly what he needed to do. Yeah, finished third. Not people hate the format, <laughs> but Crafton didn't do anything wrong. I mean, he yeah, the other guys had a chance to win and they didn't. Yeah, yeah that's they, the problem. They, they just suck. It's not the format, in my it, it opinion, that was the problem. It was the guy's his competition being trash. That was the problem. Yep. Wasn't it Austin Hill, Ross Chastain, and who else? I Chastain couldn't even win a truck oh. championship, and we put this back. No. Uh, yeah, he was in the championship for like two years in a row, and he freaking still choked still it. Lost. All right, well. Yeah. All right, who, Gary, what's your pick? Carmo, who's your pick? All right. All right. Gary did it. There did it. All right. They both said Harvick. Yeah. Guarantee it. Oh. Calling it now. I'll do a shoey if Harvick doesn't win. A right, shoey. Daniel Ricciardo. Daniel Ricciardo. I can't Are we going to do a that. shoey with Pepsi? Yep. No, you got to put it on YouTube. I got an old Reebok shoe I can do it with. 
He's got, he's got you gotta pop. put on YouTube. If Harvick doesn't win, uh, you gotta put it on YouTube. Oh man. Uh, I'll right, tweet that out right now. I'll tweet that out right now. Live it up. <laughs> live up to my words. If <laughs> Kevin Harvick doesn't win this weekend, I'll do a shoey. I'll freaking. Oh yeah. It's up. There you go. <laughs> Can't wait for that to not happen. Oh, it's not no. going to happen because Harvick's going to win. He's oh, not no. going to win. Oh, he's hands down going to win. Didn't he win there last year? Who won there last year? Seriously. Harvick. Harvick. Not no, exactly. Wait. I thought Harvick, Harvick. Blew it. When it comes hey, to is, Atlanta. As good as everybody says Harvick is in Atlanta, that was only his second win in the Cup Series in Atlanta third. last year. Third? Okay, third. third. Sorry. So, oh. I mean... Oh yeah, but yeah, but like he would find a way to lose each one some miraculous way. So well, uh, you tell me he can't do that again this weekend. All right, well, uh, I'm not saying he <laughs> will or won't. Uh, you got anything for that, Carmel? <laughs> nah, I mean, I just that's just how I feel. I don't know, dude. Um, right, should we go for nitro? So now? we've talked quite a bit about choking recently here, which oh, brings yeah. us into the nitro racing league. So the only reason Connor is here. The, we got a yeah. couple of things with Nitro, we got, don't we? Oh, well, there's a lot yeah, of talk about Nitro one. today. <laughs> there's a lot today. Well, we're, uh, we're saving uh, free agency. No, we're saving. We save most of that for next week. Yeah, free agency oh, is next week, okay. not yeah, this week. Yeah, save any of that for we're going to wait for everything to be official. Well, should we at least talk about the one yes. thing that happened? <laughs> Uh, I think we can. Well, I think no, we I, think we should, I think we should save that. Uh, I think we can. No, key, no. I think we should do it. We can re, re uh, recap the race of what happened, and then not much happened in the. Not much happened in the race. You choked. Yeah. I won. Um, Hungry. in reality, Martinsville was the final four cutoff race. Or the cutoff race to make the final four in the Nitro Racing League, and um, there's been a few Nitro races this year that have been really boring, and that unfortunately ended up being one of those races. Uh, right up until the end. Right of the up race. to the very last moment. Other than um, Tyler rage quit it. I, that kind of yeah. flew under the radar. Well, he well. Let me tell you, son. He was being more aggressive than I even was on racing at Martinsville. Oh, he was giving it everything he that, had. That, on the other hand, was I mean, he had, had why he was trying so much to beat me. He he was trying so hard, but he paid for it once the I was literally run just in. riding and just letting y'all do your thing. He was just not fast enough. Like even when I was with him, like I I was so much faster on the exit no, than it, he was. It was Eddie, what happened with you two? He just oh, kept yeah. dive bombing oh, it. Were going at he, it bro. He, the way he entered the corner, he would diamond it basically. And it was just frustrating because every time I would be down the bottom, he was just almost chop my nose every time on the exit. It just got annoying after a while. And then he just full he full set me not only once, but <sighs> twice. He did it on the beginning restart. And then he did it again on that like a couple of laps after the green flag restart? run. No. Oh. He okay. just full sent it. I don't know what happened, but I don't know. Like he got in a mean and it got me in the venom. I don't know what happened after that, but it everything was else just, was just fr- it was just frustration out. because I was so much faster than him, and he I, he was literally making us slower. It was like Durham at Kansas. <laughs> I'm not even joking. We were losing like a second, like every five laps to the rest of the field in front of me. And all three, and all like the top four were just rolling away from you. And that's literally why I kept like trying to get by him. It was just so frustrating because I kept losing so much time. Um, Martinsville is a track where you have it or you don't. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think you don't. Really Karma definitely did not have it. I did not. No. <laughs> it, was not no. it was not my best performance. Also, I mean, I was hearing about what, like, what setups people ran. We, as a team, JGR got it wrong. But the the interesting because it's absolutely a, it, it, it's weird because we did it's the exact same thing we did last season. It was an Eric Jones setup. Yeah, yeah it just I didn't work. <laughs> it, just didn't, it just didn't. It worked last season. Didn't work this season. Um. Hey, I found some. I'm just the bad at Martinsville in SK5. I'm just really bad there. It's just... it very weird seeing Gary not do good. It was bizarre. After after 15 laps, I couldn't do anything. I ran. I um, you saw my video like short run. Yeah, I I ran down. I ran down combat, run. no problem. Um, and then I had my car built for long run. Yeah, that's why you were reeling me down. 15, so 20 like, laps. Okay, it was it. I was done for after 15, 20 laps. I couldn't me, do anything. Me and combat had long run speed. And Which, I don't understand it. Looking, looking at the difference in presets, I can see exactly how it, it correlated to that. What um, preset were y'all running by? We were on four. 
work. Oh, yeah, you you were two up on me. Yeah, that's. I heard you said two the other night. I was like, oh, that. <laughs> Literally, all I did for my car was wedge. I, I was first, messing with we everything. Trained, the first uh, we, for we the tra- crash I, that happened to me, I put in adjustments that somebody uh, sent to me. I tried it, yeah. wrecked, and it's got rid weird. of them. It's so bizarre. Martinsville is just bizarre, man. I literally went up on weight. It's, that was all I did. I didn't touch pressure like, or anything. I want to like Martinsville in the game, but I just like it. Just doesn't make sense, you know. Like, there's no reason why it should be almost like two wheeling off the turn, right? I think that's just you driving it weird. <laughs> you, you drive. Yeah, you I've never it. had. I've never had that problem. Well, it's just so loose. Like, I just don't know. Like, it's... I can't... Well, you're on preset uh, four, so you didn't... I cranked the window right? to, like, the sky, man. <laughs> well, the even pre- though, man. The wrong setup. <laughs> even, no, on, man. Right, even on preset four, though, to, you can t- tighten it up as much as you want. We we learned our lesson I there. Just, I just want to say that I spent my time much more wisely by watching Georgia Tech kick the, cra- kick the crap out of Florida State. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jay, Jay skipped out. It. Um... um. That's pretty much everything in the race. Combat doing the biggest choke ever. Yeah, that's yeah, what listen, we want to hear man, about. After that Tyler was... left, I didn't give a crap anymore, even though I was locked myself in. So I didn't really give a crap at that point. So I was like, you know what? Let's just keep going, keep going. Saw so Gary in front of me. I'm like, let's go chase him down and <laughs> scare him a little bit. <laughs> okay, so. So I, I kept reeling him in. I'm like, yes. <laughs> this is revenge. From last season, because I got lapped badly on that Gary just last right season. So I I would try to get my revenge. I made Gary drive as hard as he can. And then I mess up and pull the choke of a lifetime. And somehow, some way, Outbreak wins. <laughs> After having five second lead over him. <laughs> all, oh, just better. all because he wanted to lap me. <laughs> I, I I didn't care. I was just watching hey, like, go after you. I said it. I said <laughs> that staying on the lead lap there meant more to me than winning a championship in the Nitro <laughs> Racing League. I was like, I am not going a lap down at the track I dominate at. Um, I drove like I I that's the hardest I've ever driven, and I will never drive that hard again. <laughs> um, we'll I was. We'll, I, we'll see. We'll see if you're like two we'll tenths see. behind someone that in the final turn. I went oh, full defense mode too in the final few laps. I was like, just oh, yeah. stay on the bottom, don't let them get there. You were like, you were running into up. me. I was like, just hold the bottom, we'll be okay. Hang on for dear life. Then I drive it in deep like an idiot on the high side, be like, okay, this will work. No, no, it didn't. <laughs> oh, it was hilarious. What coming out of turns four and then watching your car just glide into I, the inside wall. For some reason, my brain wasn't thinking right. I was like, mm. okay, hey, let's just try and put it in reverse and go. Put it back in first and see if it'll turn. Nope. Um, yeah, you put it right back in the wall. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it I was really hoping it would turn. Again. It didn't want to turn. Oh, <laughs> uh, it was funny. Um, uh, but uh, now, the final four. On to Phoenix for next seat for next week. Final four. Uh, it's final four is Gary Combat, even, and then uh, and Andrew. And, yeah. So I have. No idea what to expect. I if really you, don't. If you thought I was going for the overkill at Martinsville, I'm going for the overkill at Phoenix now. I was gonna say, can you give me a preset? But then I was like, wait a second, you're you're going against not me. You, <laughs> not not yet. Don't jump to it. Don't say it yet. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, you can't even. You can't even. Yeah. You, what do you uh, mean? He's on Hendrick Sports. Out. He's going against me in Phoenix. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I really can't stand you guys sometimes. <laughs> um. <laughs> but. Like I, I, I really don't know what to expect. Um like Andrew's just gonna be fast. Gary's gonna be fast. Even I though no. I, Gary Gary, you know I'm your best friend. And I I legitimately don't think you have a chance at winning. Wow. Wow. Just because I don't think you're good, that good at Phoenix. I've never seen you completely. I've only done never, I've only done I've never seen race Phoenix. I've, no, I have done one race there. I was uh, battling. For, like championship for uh, no. Um, oh, I was player. battling Andrew for the win in the final five laps of the race on a long run, and then I spun myself out. 
ah, that would do it. Um, but, and I, I still got a good finish out of it because we were so far ahead. So <laughs> I'm not concerned. It's all about will yeah, karma provide a good preset? That's North what the Carolina question is. The um, it, it's not about pace. It's, my concern is karma's preset tips. Yeah, that that's the th that's my thinking as well. Like Gary is not going to practice for it, and I know for a fact that Andrew Combat and even are. And Gary's oh, just going to go into it and just kind of, uh, yeah, exactly. And Gary's just going to go into it and wing it. Well, because I was, just, I was doing that thing um, till two in the morning for this car. Holy fuck! Um, Goodness, Jesus! See that, but, that uh, that's the comparison. There is, I have zero care in the world of how this race goes. And then you got Combat he's putting in the time to try and destroy me. <laughs> I want. Because I'm on a controller. I have the worst first tire wear out of everybody. So I have to That's get my really car bad. as tight as I can go to get at the tire wear being fine. Um, so I can't and be like I super aggressive on it. <laughs> we did some tryouts, trying out some people. And um, I know what even space is at Phoenix. I won't say without, anything. Without working on a setup, yeah. Um, Which I'm sure he's. I, he told on. he told no he told me if, what preset he was running and it's what I would run. So what is? Oh, it? he's doing preset. Okay. I'm not, I'm not saying. Oh. right now, I'll tell you after. Oh, okay. Uh, but to what his pace was, it was pretty comparable to what Andrew was last season. Was it compared to mine when we were doing it you, when we you had the copy thing? You didn't. Race. I mean, when I mean when we had that copy thing or the. Oh. oh, you like? Oh no, actually, no. Actually, I'm not gonna say anything. Am I closer? <laughs> no. I'm not gonna say anything. Compared to Andrew, I'm just gonna win it. Yeah, and Eddie's just gonna come out of nowhere and dominate. Then, then, so, someone, someone, someone in the final four is not gonna win. That. Win or lose, right. I just want content. Okay. I, well, you're gonna get content because they're exactly gonna have to go for me to get it again. I, I think this section is gonna be a much more uh, is gonna be a much lar larger topic of conversation for next week when uh, Sunday night opens up and, and we oh. see all the free agencies. Yeah, so That's, we'll have a huge, huge dive in next week on that. Uh, cause yeah, there's there's already yeah. some stuff that's happened uh, that we're not gonna talk about okay. yet, but it's no it's already been no oh boy on what's gonna yeah, happen next Sunday. Let's just say it was very. Let's just say I hate Stuff's be, saying stuff that. Be everything changing. changes. Stuff Let's just be say changing. everything changes. I'm staying yeah, in the true. 11. Are I'm, you re I'm, I'm retiring. I think I'm the only one here in the same car. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not returning. Right. I'll, I'll Jay, go so far to say is I'm not returning to the 95. Oh, That's all I'm how, saying. How could you betray? Like, Karma, news. why do you care? You're not returning to the 20. Hey, hey, hey right. Hey, boys, <laughs> letting y'all know 24 will not be coming back for. Or combat. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I'm. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. It, it, there's a lot in the air right now. This way, I'm probably going to yeah, there, there really is a lot. <laughs> hey man, might as well go, go back to. Yeah, uh, next next week is gonna be interesting. We'll... Just it's just right. interesting how I get four wins and nobody wants to sign me. I mean, yeah. if I had a team, I would Dude. love to sign you to my virtual NASCAR Heat team. <laughs> Hey, hey, it was also pretty wild. You know, I announced I left the 20, and I'll be honest, no one asked anything. Nope. I think more or less it was like, Karma's the league owner. He's going to do whatever he wants. Let's just say <laughs> some people went a bit early on calls here. And Problem for me that, is... We'll just end it right there. Karma's the, the only really one. Early. The phone yeah. rang, Karma's the only one I would ever, like, at this point, drive for. <laughs> Hmm. I mean, I, I agree. Really Unless I'm either up. owning my own team, that's that's the only, it's... my phone got got picked up real quick. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's honestly kind of funny because, like, we know the Fords practice a lot, and as us as the Toyotas still, right now, we know, still suck. Wait, and the Chevys, the Chevys also do practice stuff too. Well, to some well I haven't and, got the practice version. No, by I, I feel like the AI. But like the thing is, it's like the, the Toyota guys are like, you guys practice. <laughs> The Toyota program is the most laid back one, and it also seems to be the most the best. We don't one. give a flying f. <laughs> yeah, we come in there. Uh, and if, win. if you do practice, our extent is uh, hey, let's go into a quick lobby for like five laps. Okay, 
Right. Oh, yeah. does it drive all right? Yeah, let's, we're good. Let's make sure our preset feels good. Oh, it does. All right. That's it. Let's go do some public races at the track uh, yeah, that we're racing we at. Public... Good night. Yeah, we just used hey, the public man. races as practice. Hey, man, the it. public races at Martinsville paid off for me. I figured out I'm going to drive around it <laughs> and didn't wreck myself. <laughs> Jesus. There you go. That's when the private yeah, I tell you what, those... public lobbies kick in. I just wrecked myself. Those public lobbies for didn't teach part... me how to avoid crashes because I hit two cars. Yeah. For the uh, most hey, part, the, the, the JGR chat yeah. does not get used until like five minutes before the race, and then for like ten minutes after, we're all like, "Ugh, or yay," and then that's it. And then we don't speak to each other in the in that chat hey guys, until seven more next days. Saturday. Yeah, there, there's no more discussion that goes down until five minutes before the next race. <laughs> yep, sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, the discussion starts with Gary spamming preset, 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 preset. As Karma's already said, and he refuses it's to like, look up two messages. Slow your roll. <laughs> The last thing said in that chat can be Karma saying what preset, and then Gary's like, what preset? Yeah. <laughs> let's, just True. Say, let's just say for next Sunday, things will be a bit different. I'm going to win. Hey, you yeah. know, you know, Ford's been telling me, man, they, they're creating Godzilla. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, going to be a yeah. force to be reckoned with. Yeah, they're oh, the no. second Godzilla from 1980. More no, like, I mean, he... hey, hey, it might be the, uh, the, uh, that one Godzilla from like 98. The oh, really, no. that really bad one. Oh, no. The one, oh, the one no. that really looked like an alligator. It was a iguana. Oh, the iguana. Yeah, the iguana. Yeah, hold on. Let me. Hold on. Hold the, on. The, the new ones are good. Like the 2014 one, the one that came out. Yeah, but that's not Ford, though. Yeah. Was it, was it 1998? Yeah, 98. Yeah. Anything. They're, they're more look like freaking one of the Teletubbies or something. Or <laughs> Uh, as a Godzilla fanboy, uh, yeah, ninety eight. Uh, the only Godzilla yeah. one I like is the one, one that was based in like New York or something like that. Uh, and, Gary, you don't. Even... And yeah, like, the Ford, big Ford is turning into Sesame Street. The big like dinosaur lizard was walking through the streets, and there's like skyscrapers and stuff, and it was such a good movie. That movie <laughs> like, no, the biggest issue with that movie is called Godzilla. Wait, that's the one. I think it's that the worst, picture. It's the worst. It is the worst. No, Godzilla. that is such a good movie. That looked like the shit from freaking Gary. Jurassic Park. Let me let me explain this real quick. It's not necessarily a bad movie. It is a terrible Godzilla movie. Well, yeah, here's the problem for me. Terrible Godzilla. That's the only Godzilla I've seen. So I guarantee if well, I went and watched... That is not the true, that is like not the true say, Godzilla. That Godzilla that is a dinosaur better. with spikes on his back. If I watched the true ones, I probably would dislike them compared to that. Yes, oh, because yeah. they're mostly Japanese. And you're probably like, what is this... I'm not the Japan. Japan. But we Godzilla have versus testing to talk about. Yes, F1 testing. <laughs> ah, F1 let's testing. Just say, let's just say Mercedes. Mercedes is and yeah, Mercedes. Wow, they don't look very good. I am concerned, guys. Was that believable? They uh, said themselves. Uh, the data shows Mercedes Red Bull's faster. Hey, hey, Red Bull's faster. So on March 28th, you're gonna hear get in there, Lewis. No, 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 no. Like I said earlier, you're gonna hear getting there. Get Valtteri. It's the first race of the year. He always he wins the first race of the year and then does nothing else. Well, Lewis hey, is man. like, let me give him a glimmer of hope and then just destroy him the rest of the year. Hey man, listen. I remember, I think, was, I, I think I have all the laps. I think I have all the laps. Over. I think I, I think I have all the laps showing guys. I think Alfa Romeo is gonna be the top. Yep. <laughs> I remember yeah, they took the most laps on track. I hope and Bodice, Bodice wins Australia, and he's like, "I'm back, and I'm a force to be reckoned with." And then immediately just Merit. nothing. To whom, to whom it nothing. may concern. Fuck you. <laughs> and then he was, "Oh man, this guy is coming. He's gonna have a great year." Then he flops. Oh, we got a shot. Everybody, everybody was hyped. We were like, "Oh yeah, Nico 2.0," and then he does. That nothing. was we went into that year. Bodice had that pose where he flipped off the oh, camera. Big. Yeah. With both hands, and I was like, "Wow, Bodice is like rolling up in here like like a new dude." Well, I mean, uh, he's he said this year he's got he's he's coming in with a new mindset again. Um, is his so nickname Baldus the platypus. What? Um, is his nickname Baldus the platypus. I don't know. <laughs> I've never heard that. Neither have I. I. Um, I think we need to make that a thing. No. Oh my um, god. What? It's my Reddit what? birthday. I just got the notification. What? Oh dear God. <laughs> that was cool. Happy wow, that's very cool. Happy cake day. Let's go. I got to comment on something tonight just to get that. Um, but um, let's, uh... Red, Bull, Red Bull legitimately does look good, but yeah, I mean, I just have there, there's legitimate concerns about the Mercedes just because the car looks really unstable, but like they're they're still gonna win everything. Dude, 
See, no, you want to know? I saw the picture of the uh, Mercedes in the gravel trap. No, that was just all the sand in the car, you know? The sandbags leaking. Nah, I mean, Mercedes <laughs> is just going to destroy it. I mean... Yeah, they they probably will. I mean, they can hype if, it up if all the they car want. truly does have a have a handling issue, and we see it like take effect throughout the season, then I'll be I'll be absolutely shocked. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I hope Red Bull wins. Yeah, so do I. I ain't gonna, the, the, I'm ninety nine percent sure they, know, they, they are not going to. Win. Things things did not change that much from my season to this season. Worst There's comes to worst, no they literally revert to what they had last year. McLaren. McLaren. I, I hope they're good. McLaren. You know what's you know what's back this season that I absolutely hate is those little nose winglets. Oh, I like on the, them on the very I top like of them. the nose where the te- where the camera Ferrari's can see. Like, I hate them. Oh, like, 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 how many can we, how many are on the car? I, I, I hate Ferraris the most. It looks so bad. I, I hate their livery. Their their livery is so bad. I mean, yeah, their livery is really bad too. But the nose winglets are the worst in the field. I thought you were going to hate the hospital. But hey, you know, we give Donato a lot of uh crap but uh and you know one thing you have to say he's just an honest person though with the, if the car is bad he's gonna say the car is bad and he says we're better than we were last year. hey you so, know what the one thing he wasn't honest about is how they did sebastian vettel dirty about that um but you there's, mentioned if there's one thing about if there's one bad thing about ferrari that we cannot blame him on it's delivery Hey, yeah, you're not wrong there, he but can't, that's, he can't do anything. You're, about you're, that. Most yeah. of the year, you're that's not, not his, actually. That's not his department. You're well. not going to see that green mission win now logo for most of the year because it's banned pretty much almost everywhere they go. Well, from what I've heard, I've heard it's only for Bahrain, but I don't care. I don't care. The green's hideous. It's terrible. Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 it's not Christmas. Wait, wait, like, and and God, that it. that freaking red transition is so bad. It needs to be a more smooth transition. It could have been the... such a good gradient, but they just did yeah, it really the, bad. Uh, what the thing? I'm looking it up. Or Ferrari, the new 2021 Ferrari F1. It's just, uh, but no, I mean Ferrari looked better. Um, but like it's testing, so we really don't know. Yeah. I mean, we kind of do know, but we don't at the same time, just because... Well, there is like... one interesting thing. Every year since 2014, Mercedes done the most laps. This time, this they time. did the least. There, yeah, there's, a son, time, there's a sign there. there. There's a sign there. They're Which, like, honestly, yeah. if, if, if anything, it's a sign that they really do potentially have an issue with the car being sliding. They were spending a lot of time to try and, spending a lot of time to try yeah. and figure it out. Uh, that, but that then, may be a slight indication of that, but or but probably the most likely case is uh, we go to Bahrain qualifying, they get pulled. Uh, Lewis yeah. gets pulled by like yeah. seven times. One, they start <laughs> one two and they finish one two. Until from here. Well, Bottas is up for grabs because it's, someone can still beat him. Yeah. Verstappen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Verstappen. Yeah, that's true. Um, I'm hyped for Perez because he looks like he's pretty fast too. Oh, yeah, we actually yeah. might have two good Red Bull drivers this year. Whoa. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what uh, Perez can put up against Verstappen. I don't think he can beat him on a regular basis. No, um, I don't, Verstappen, Verstappen is like Hamilton. He's like that talent that you just... He's one of those generational talents. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I mean, the season's going to be spent like Ham-Bot-Ver or Ham-Ver-Bot. Ham-Ver-Bot. <laughs> and maybe and Max will find a way to win a race. Or so. Yeah, he always clicks off one. I, I feel bad for Verstappen. He, he could... Win too. so many races and championships if he was in the mm-hmm. best car, mm-hmm. oh. but and, and you look at wasted potential. <laughs> like, dude there's, would be there's destroying. There's a lot of, there's honestly a lot of drivers. You can say the same thing about Nif one though, like Leclerc. Uh, yeah, like Claire, like like Perez. I mean, he's just now finally getting his shot. Signs, Lando. I mean, well, they're also still McLaren who are who are improving. So I mean, well, Signs isn't McLaren anymore, but Lando is. Dude, Unfortunately for science, he goes to Ferrari, which are, you know, crap now compared to what they used to be. So, uh, is that pretty much all for F1? I was Haas looking trash, hopefully. Yeah. Honestly, probably worse than Williams. Thank God. Actually, the Williams right looks so much be. better. Williams looks yeah, so the Williams much did better. look a lot better. It looks so much better on track. I um, agree. I didn't like it in the showroom, but I, I liked it on track. Yeah, the colors pop a lot more. Um, yeah. But I, there's not really much to take from it. Next weekend, not this upcoming weekend, the weekend after. That's when we'll know. 
We got Drive to Survive this weekend, which I am oh. extremely excited about. God. Friday. Oh, I'm up Friday. Okay. Um, really, really 26 hours from now. So let's go. I'm very excited from that. Yeah. Before that. Uh, I mean, does that bring us into the question segment? Yeah, there's not many. I think so. And there's one specific one from the Discord that I want to bring up, but as far it. as the others, I don't. There's actually some good ones in the Discord. Uh, yeah, there um, was there was one posted. Uh, I think it was yesterday. Hang on, let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, oh, just give me a good yeah, one. Too. Yeah, while you look for that, let's go with the one in Eddie's chat. Uh, Yusuf said, "Do you guys think that Cendric will do better than Matty D did in the 21?" Yes. Yes. Sorry, Jay. Sorry, um, not sorry, Jay. Well, based off of this year, I should say. So far. Yes. I I unfortunately have to agree. Based off of last year? No. Maybe well, maybe equal. Maybe but equal. I, I also I still just think the the way the team has been talking, I really think a lot of the struggles this year, I mean we saw the the issues he had in, in the road course and then the five hundred getting wrecked, but uh, I think a lot of the issues so far this year have just been the team straight up and not knowing how to do setups and having no practice and just kind of screwing them over. And mm. I still am, I still hold this to be true that that team is ass. Pinsky help or no Pinsky help, that team is ass. Picker is terrible. The crew chief is is he doesn't know what he's doing without practice. I like karma Instead from last just, year. The team's ass. Bro, the RPM crew was on fire. I think, dude. Yeah, no, yeah, you, tell, you actually... sound like Karma though from last year when Eric Jones was in the twenty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. James going through that phase now, dude. That fucking pit crew, literally. Oh, we're in the top. So, all right, quick rant here. If Eric Jones gained a spot in pit road, that means something went horribly wrong. There was a penalty somewhere, <laughs> and it was true yeah. every time. <laughs> It was actually uh, a lot of rigged. penalties this weekend. It was uh, all a ruse. That was so good. Um, uh, I got I the answer. I got the Discord question. If we're ready on, I, on I, I haven't even answered. Oh okay. Uh, Damn. I don't know. I I don't know because like I haven't even answered. Don't... And his answer is I don't know. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> the thing is, my I keep saying rookies really don't do anything. They're probably not going to do as good as Matt D does. I think Cendra could do something. The same equipment course. and the same. Well, not. No, I got it. The 2021 gonna is going to be. Enough. I'm going to say no. Well, everyone's going to be on the even playing field. So I'm going to say he might have a shot. Yeah, you got to keep in mind, though. It's the new gen. Yeah, everybody's on the too, same playing right? field. When... Ooh. Yeah. You bring in the everybody's new gen. Be on Who the knows? same playing field. So let's see what happens with him with the get... new car. I'm. But I have low hopes for him. It's what I, it's a rookie, man. You know how I feel about rookies. They don't really do anything. Yeah, but then look at what happened with Will and Byron then. He sucked. Oh, it took him four years. Congratulations. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> look at, you know, these young drivers. Larson couldn't win. Elliot couldn't win. Uh, Byron couldn't win. It took them a while. Um, all for them to get going. Beside... Aside from Pocono, Blaney took a while. He to still win. can't win I mean, the proper <laughs> race. I mean, Byron won one proper race, and it's still too early to judge. Um, took yeah. Eric Jones a while to win. Season man. Daytona. Yeah. Only shot. You won the Southern 500, bro. Oh, yeah, I forgot, forgot about that. Hey, honestly, what, what it could have been is he worked so hard to win that Southern 500, he was just drained for the next year and a half. Yeah, no, he like, used all his luck on that one. <laughs> no, no. Just... Hey, he there's, no co- there, there's no coincidence that they changed every crew member on that on the 20 car after the season. That's not a coincidence. <laughs> I mean... They did. They they changed everything on the nineteen car, and then we saw what happened with Suarez. Yep. Changed it again when Truex comes over. He wins. Well, that's because Truex is also a, a, like that. Objectively, Truex is a better driver than Suarez. Truex has, has more experience than Suarez by a lot. Well, yeah. I mean, that's part of it. Yeah, he's got a, a year or two on. Suarez, him. in my opinion, did better in the forty-one than he did the nineteen. He, yes. Absolutely, he was the playoff threat. Yeah. He did. He missed out by a spot, but. Uh, yeah, by, from me. Ryan Newman. Yeah, well, listen, <laughs> Ryan, oh, I don't like Ryan Newman. 
Uh, so I guess that answers the uh, next question. How many different winners do you think there will be this season? We're already oh, at just go ahead, and, just go ahead, and just yoink that. I oh. had that already. Oh, you just, Jay had it. Oh, yeah. I got, got him. Um, I got how many nine. different winners? We have five right now. Yeah, uh, five and five races already. I mean, we can't like regular people too as different winners, or yeah, yeah anyone, anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, different winners in, in general. Fifteen. Right, how many? How many we got right now? Five for five. Five in five races. Fifteen okay, is so, my uh, fifteen okay. is my guess. So we can guarantee. All right, so somebody add this as I'm going. So we can add Denny Hamill to that list because we know he's definitely gonna yeah. win one. Mm -hmm. We can probably add Harvick. This Brad, Brad Keselowski, Logano, Chase. Yeah. I think Bowman's gonna win one. I feel like Kyle Busch. Kyle, yeah. eh, maybe. Hey, you can't tell me Bowman's Bowman. gonna win one. Kyle Busch will. <laughs> Bowman, I, I Bowman's think... Bowman has his win one and quit for the season strat. I I honestly think Hendrick's better than Joe Gibbs right now. Oh no, absolutely. Um. All four drivers consistently though. Did you say Denny? Ah, you know, you're right. I think Denny, yeah. Um... Bowman right now is really good, but he's like, so far right looks now. like the weak link. Let's, well, it's let's because put, he's not. Let, let's put a random driver for the dirt race. Let's say that somebody unexpected wins that race, because I mean... It, you were freezing. Got, you, 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 you were freezing. There you go. Look, uh, I actually think Blaney hey. might win one. I don't. No, Blaney ain't no. winning. <laughs> no. Nah, nah. Well, he's he's got uh, some... I mean, there's there tracks. There is yeah, he'll, go, he'll get his one, like... When, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give it. I'll, I'll give Blaney him on, on play tracks. I'll, I'll say. Before, I think before we actually add this up, up, I'm just I'm just gonna give my number of fourteen, fourteen or fifteen. Is I was gonna say fourteen as well, but I'm gonna go fifteen still. I'm gonna uh, go thirteen. Uh, I'm gonna go fifteen. Uh, the number I'm uh, at right now is a. Uh... I think Ricky Stenhouse wins the super speedway race. Oh God! Uh, I'll say fourteen or fifteen, but it legitimately would not surprise We're me if we have like seventeen on, winners on. Those we're up to 14, adding all of those guys together. I mean, 14. It's anywhere between 13 to 16. Yeah, somewhere around there. So basically, every single person that's in the playoffs won a race. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, I think one. I think one hell of a way to end the the Gen Six would be to have going into the playoffs, we have more than 16 winners, and like has to be it has to come down on points in that final Daytona race. I would love to see Michael McDowell get knocked out of the playoffs for not finishing in the top 30, oh, but that would never happen. I mean, no, he's not going to follow the top 30, but... That would be fantastic, because that's literally a waste of a playoff spot. I mean, and Cole Custer last year wasn't? I mean, he won a race. at Kentucky. Yeah. Michael Kentucky, McDowell though. won a race that's harder to win than Kentucky. That's Daytona. Yeah, I'd, it's harder to win there. I mean, he did have to kill two people, but... And then the rest of the field. Kind of killed five, maybe six. <laughs> That's why I said killed the rest of the field. <laughs> uh, I I just think Michael McDowell's shit. Dog shit. Uh, I don't know. Actually, you put him in top equipment at a road course, though, the guy would slay. No. He would no. slay. That's his yeah. background. Uh, the dude tears up from the Gary go kart Owens road Discord, stuff, if y'all want to go in there. Is there any right more here? questions that we. Uh, what's your favorite 2021 paint scheme so far? That was DoorDash. Uh, Some what? Give me a moment here. <laughs> Give me a moment. Uh, something, something, something. Track house. Yeah, I'm just saying. What? What's track house? Um, uh, that Bowman car is fucking hot. Uh, IK9 or IK9 K1 Speed Torres. <laughs> K1 Speed Torres. Uh, Bowman. Which one? He's got two of them, yeah. The normal one. Oh. Jake, I don't know, you got one? The one was kind of nice. I'm trying to think. Uh, I kind of liked uh, Turex's uh, Stanley card that he ran at the Roval. That was kind of fire. Stanley won it, man. The road course, you might. The, the, the date on the road course. I'm trying to think. That was oh. deep. Hey, so well, I'll this... go with Christopher Bell's Craftsman car. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was pretty nice. That's nice. Bell's cars are hot. Bell and yeah, Suarez. Most of his cars are really nice this season. Suarez always has like the best schemes. His Camping World one was cool. 
Did you yeah, guys, like did you, you guys see um, that one truck team, GMS, I think it was? Or no. Gilliland's team ripped the Suarez paint scheme, like the guy that designed the car. And like. And Jeff put it on the truck? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I saw that. yeah the, the, the guy that designed, I think it was the same guy that designed the other Suarez cars. Um, but the guy called him up for it. And, no, they mm. just kind of stayed quiet. Nice. Nice. But nah, I thought that was interesting. Um, is there any more questions we got here? Uh, let me see. Now, Gary, I'll um, just... Um, I am not really seeing any... <laughs> Who are the chain smokers? <laughs> I, okay, I, I think that's pretty <laughs> much it. Anyone in Eddie's Twitch chat got anything else? No. no nobody. Uh, I'm still looking. Unbelievable. Not that many people to come for questions this time. No. Oh, the last two weeks have been kind of slow. Yeah, well, we haven't really publicized the questions very much. We've got to do that again. Yeah. Um, we'll do that for next week. But is there anything you guys want to point it on, talk about real quick before we end it? <sighs> that Joe section is going to be quite interesting to- next week. Uh-huh. I'm just trying to think if there's Mike Apparently, Joy. The yeah, top I, I four don't... will get money if for Nitro. How about Ooh. that? Mike Joy called out door bumper clear. Damn. Yeah, that too. Rightfully, Deserved. rightfully called them out. Mm-hmm. Um, which is honestly, in my opinion, was awesome seeing someone of his um, position call them out finally. <laughs> but agree. Yeah, they got some interesting opinions. Other than that, I think that is it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. I mean, other than that, Logan Clampett and Michael Conti actually um, are having dinner together. Yeah. Sushi. Saw that on Twitter. Well, they do live together, so... They do. You guys know they're roommates? Did not. And they were roommates. They're roommates? Wow. Wow. All right, then. I guess we're going to call it there. So this time out, what are we at? We are at one, two hours? Yep. Yeah, might, pretty much. It might be the longest one. Again. <laughs> <laughs> we keep oh. breaking the record. Gary's like, man, it needs to be 90 minutes, and you realize it just doesn't work like that. Two hours later. Two hours later. We spent eight minutes setting up, so yeah, no, it should it should be longer than the last one. New record. It's a new track record. I was just about to say that. It's a new podcast record. It's a new yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say new time record. No, All right. one more. Um so yeah, we'll call it there. We'd like to thank everybody for taking the time out of their day to listen or on um YouTube, Spotify, all the other platforms available to listen to us. At the Go On Racing podcast, make sure to follow the Nitro League on Twitter. You're going to see a lot of activity on that for the new season coming up. At League, at League Nitro. Nitro. Yeah. Myself and Jay, Link in the Eddie, description. Matt, we all run it. So make sure to get in on that um, and follow. That would be greatly appreciated. Which we've, we've still got to finalize the uh, logos for next season. Yeah, right? I'm hoping Chaffee will send something. I forgot to respond to him. Um, but I'll have to... You're a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> All right. All right. Like Austin said, you should really get a whiteboard. No, fam. This is what the notes are right, on well. your phone for. Imagine. You're going to need a bigger phone. <laughs> Might. You're going to need a bigger boat. All right. But, yeah, like I said, thank you, everybody, for taking the time out of your day to listen. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode next week after the Nitro Championship race and Atlanta in the Cup Series. So have yourselves a great night, and we'll see you guys next week.